All right. Starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. We're going to be continuing uh, where we left off. It shouldn't be too hard to get back into the swing of things, especially since we have a uh, stockpile of kinetic mechanisms that I was able to get uh, going. Now, I did do a little bit of uh, optimization in the background, made it so that the system for making kinetic mechanisms and all that is uh, perfectly automated. It doesn't require any of our work, other than to maybe swap out some sand filters, but that's like pretty much it. Um, apart from that, we still need to set up a few interesting machines. We need to, A, uh, set up some sort of, um, lava collecting tunnel, or, not tunnel, creation. Shouldn't be too hard to do, we just need to basically get a bunch of lava from the, uh, underground into the surface. Uh, from there we need to take the, um... the lava and move it basically everywhere. I'll just give it a second to load up. Doesn't take it too long, right? A little bit of time without having to worry about actually emulating any of it, and they can just... Excuse me, load it. There we go. I did do some, uh, slight modifications and you know making it a little more comfortable uh, we can actually move around pretty freely here without much worry we got some supply here that we can always take a look at there we go as you can see this is running perfectly hello cuddle and welcome 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 to our Create Above and Beyond game. Um, we haven't fully finished it. We're nowhere near, actually. That's strange. I guess we ran out of, uh, <laughs> out of andesite. That's unfortunate, but it shouldn't be too hard to handle. They'll automatically sit and not produce any more while it's uh, generating. Uh, we managed to do the first uh, leg of the journey. So it shouldn't be too hard to um, finish up everything. Can't really stay long. Well, glad to have you either way, Cuddlin. You have lots of things to do tomorrow. Fair enough. Everything's functioning just fine. The only things I really did uh, since last time is add this belt and sawmill so I can automatically take the wood and process it. I also took the andesite bin. This thing. And added a bunch of hoppers to it so that it wouldn't waste any. Uh, make sure that it's perfectly uh, secure. And if I remember correctly, it is, yeah, it's still currently backlogged on the amount of andesite we got sitting around. So we should be good on that front. Um, the only real problem we're having is our strainers taking a while to produce clay in any decent quantity. Because this sand right here is useless for making clay. It can make a little clay, but it probably won't. So we're probably gonna have to find a better use for it. Um, as for right now, I think our current... Wow, that music is loud. Uh, I think our current um, project is going to be A, automating rubber. Rubber is gonna be very easy to automate. It's probably gonna take us like, I don't know, a few minutes at most. Nothing too long. Um, from there, we're going to be making a automated... Uh, I'm thinking of foundry? Turn it down? Fair enough. Does 60 work? A little better? Um, nah, I think I'm 50 should do fine. About half volume. So loud. Better? Mm. Um, now it's acceptable. Fair enough. Thank you for the tips. Um, yeah, we're turning that down as well. Actually, why not just 
turn down the master volume to like 75. Jesus, that's loud. Bouncing out like that. Yeah, better. Better. Um, from there, we're going to try to make some sort of automated foundry. Something to properly uh, handle the sheer amounts of metals that we're going to be picking up. So we can just drop them into a chest. <laughs> Precise is not the word I'd use for it, but fair enough. Um, an automated foundry so that we don't have to mess with it? What the hell is that? An ominous banner. Okay, then. Some pillager got stuck in here. 25%, 75%, 15%. Eh. Round numbers are nice. Round numbers are nice. I want this stupid banner clogging that thing. Uh, this can just go in its uh, bin, so that shouldn't take us too long to toss that in there. There we go. Um, right, we want to be able to automatically uh, handle all the processing of ores. Um, redstone just goes into a bin because it just needs a grinding. All that sort of thing. I do want to get the lava uh, collector done first, though. And the best way I can think of doing that is to just make a giant uh, pipeline. Now, pipelines are a little annoying, but they are functional. Blue pipes. They cost three copper total. Just needs to, like, crunch it. It is always handy to keep it uh, organized now. Oh, I also get that smart fluid pipe. Fluid pipes. They're pretty simple. Connect two or more fluid sources or targets. Using a wrench, a straight pipe segment can be given a window, which lets you see it, like, moving. Schmoving. Window pipes will not connect to any other adjacent pipe setting, or segments. When powered by mechanical pumps, the pipes can move fluids. Simple as. But it does take some time to figure it out. Once it does figure it out, it starts transferring. Uh, pipe locks in themselves never physically contain any fluid. Now, note, the throughput is based on the rotational speed. The faster you spin it, the uh, faster it goes. Oh, you can pull directly from source blocks. Alright then. Heh, <laughs> I see. Good to know. And you can pipe directly from beehives, eh? That could be really handy. Copper casing can be used to decorate fluid pipes and also cover them. They will also hold it. Good to know. This is important knowledge. Do you know anything about Logitech? I just got a headset and a mouse from my grandma since she missed my B-Day. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Logitech is the... It's kind of like the store brand stuff. It's it's functional, don't get me wrong. It works fine. It's just, you know, not very fancy. If you get a mouse from Logitech, that thing will serve you just fine. In almost all cases. Headsets work too. Okay, so... <laughs> You're into games and shit like that. <laughs> Fair enough. That's not a bad selection, honestly. It's like gaming stuff. Eh, fair enough. I think I'm gonna need quite a bit of copper. Yeah, Logitech will serve you just fine. No worries on that front. I haven't used Logitech much uh, aside from like keyboards and mouses, but I have used their headsets in the past. Fairly decent. So, first things first, we're going to need to find a solid source of lava. Now, there's a couple places I can think of. Till now, I was practically gaming on desktop mice and headsets. <laughs> Fair enough. 
We got a decent source here. That's not perfect, though. Hmm. That's just some flowing magma. Hmm. It's like life changing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If we're gonna put it down here, I don't know how far it would reach, but it seems like a very short distance. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear your desktop, uh, or not your desktop, your headset uh, works well. I don't know if that uh, I sound amazing thing is my voice or not, but hey, I'm glad I sound better. Sounds like your grandmother has some good choice in, uh... Oh no? Just googled the models. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty expensive. They're not the most expensive, though. Razor is pretty bad for, uh, pricing. Uh, so we're gonna need a hose pulley. Wait, we're to... Hmm. How far down can host police go? So you need a copper machine. I see pretty much Logitech is uh, pretty up there for price. It's not that bad. It depends on the uh, Logitech model, right? Some headsets can go for like almost the price of a freaking computer itself. It's a little ridiculous. Right, we need to roast those logs so that we can actually make some fuel for us. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, okay, so a pulley requires us to get a copper machine. Copper machines aren't too bad, we just need seal mechanisms. The shareholders gotta eat. Yep. <laughs> uh, still. It is annoying to see how overpriced some things can be, you know? Lord knows Skull Candy used to be one of the uh, best uh, quality for price point uh, brands, but then they fell to the dark side. <laughs> I really need to set up a little, like, andesite repository. With your headset and mouse? Oh, I am quite satisfied with my headset and mouse. They work perfectly fine. And they've been serving me for long enough that I'd say that the price was worth it. The dark side. <laughs> Throw together a kinetic box. We're going to need a rather large chunk of iron to actually press this stuff. Um, so what I'm doing right now is we're going to be, because we need the um, rubber mechanisms, the sealed mechanisms, sorry. Uh, we're going to need to actually build a uh, arboreal extractor and from there take that sap and uh, move it into, went a bit too deep. Uh, move it into a press, because that way we get rubber for cheap. No longer shall we press flowers into oblivion. Now we shall press rubber directly out of the, uh, the resin. Because if we look at it, rubber has two different recipes, actually. There's water and vines, water and flowers, and resin. Flower lives matter, exactly. Exactly. And this is a really easy way to do it, too. So there's that. Um, the other way, other than flowers, is to press resin. Now, resin is fairly easy to get. All you need is a living tree with leaves on top and an arboreal extractor. And that extractor will tap into the tree and suck out its lifeblood. That lifeblood will be converted into resin. 
Uh, and it will generate a... Well, a steady trickle of it. Not a lot, but enough. Well, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I can see why, but as long as the thought is in the right place, yeah. As long as the thought is in the right place, that that is pretty sweet. <laughs> Any more iron ore that we can tap into? Because we need a lot of iron. Enough to set up the press, which requires a full block. <laughs> You're right, I don't. I do not know your life situation, unfortunately. Interesting. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, great. Back off. Back off. There we go. Hmm. I won't, uh, I won't inquire if you don't want to share. Grab this iron so we can make that. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't really know your life, so I can't really judge on it, unfortunately. <laughs> eh. Eh. I sure don't have anything to hide. Well, not much to hide. There we go. That's a better way of putting it. I'm pretty sure everybody has their own little, like, things that they'd like to keep secret, but... Oh, yeah. That's always fun. Oh, damn, that is, un that is unfortunate. I hope it, uh... I hope the laws change. Lord knows. I'm up in uh, Canada, so we got... It's very interesting, in air quotes, yeah. Canada isn't too bad on that, thankfully. It is... We still got our uh, Republic... Uh, rep not Republicans, we got Conservatives, that's what they are. That's the term they use. But they're not quite as... Uh, dickish. As American conservatism, thankfully. Thankfully. Uh, let's use an oak support for now. Just something to use. Put down a press on top. Uh, I think that's kind of the wrong direction. Do we want it to press this way? I guess we could. Hmm. Yeah, actually, that's a perfectly fine pressing direction. We're going to need once about British and American conservatives. Oh, yeah. Well, the Overton window on conservatives in America is uh, very different from other places. British ones are American leftists, exactly. That's what I mean by the Overton window. The uh, idea of like what is considered acceptable and where the various parties uh, line up. The Overton window in Britain is uh, going to be a lot more left than uh, America. And while Canada isn't a lot more left than America, it is more left. Fair, to be completely fair. So we're able to get away with a little bit more over here. <laughs> Throw that up there. That way that'll support that. We won't have enough to build a full-on thing. No healthcare for profit. Well, Canada is better than America. That shit is insane to me. Yeah, I imagine. Not having to pay because you stubbed your toe. Oh, there is politics. There is a lot of politics. I know that uh, 
<laughs> I don't mind politics personally, so it's entirely up to you whether or not you continue on with the politics. I find politics interesting and kind of important, you know? Important enough to be worthwhile, like, talking about, right? Eh, fair enough. If you don't want to talk politics, then I won't talk politics. <laughs> I'm in a country that I can be myself. Yeah, that's fair. That is absolutely fair. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to I don't want to stress you out, you know? I'm trying to give off immaculate vibes. Or at least as immaculate as I can give. I don't know if I can give off fully like perfect vibes, but I'm trying. Um What was I thinking of doing? Right, we need to actually make the arboreal extractors. Arboreal extractors are very, very simple. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying. <laughs> Arboreal extractors, a bucket and an andesite box. I don't know what to call it. Arboreal extractor, you use uh, a tree of some sort. <laughs> Everybody sounds like their parents one day. One day. You can get lava from hell bark. Okay. Bit of an interesting thing, but sure. Uh, everything seems to just give off resin, so we can just take our pick, really. Rainbow birch, umbrun. We're probably gonna go with oak. Just oak. Jacaranda. And what it gives us is resin. It's It produces a steady supply, a steady drip of it. You can speed it up with bone meal, but this resin can then be... crumped into uh, rubber. <laughs> I have to find the rainbow birch to do it for the gays. I don't know where I would even find a rainbow birch. Rosen. And tree oil. What the hell is rosen? It's a fuel. You can make a block of rosen, but I don't really know what rosen is. Where would I even find a rainbow birch? I can make them in phytogenic insulators. Present spell with O instead of E. Ah, yes. Spitting, spitting facts right here. I know that Rosen is used in, um, what is it called? Brazing rods and stuff like that, but it was a welding rods. It was one of the, the industrial rods, but that's not really a thing in this, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're going to need a few more buckets, though. Of Roseanne Barr. No, but I recognize the last name. You are Boreal Extractors to start us off with. Uh, we still need to collect a few more bars of iron. Her show got cancelled? Oh, really? I wonder what her show was about. Oh, well, there we go. That would do it. <laughs> Glad that was cancelled, then. God damn. Let me quickly... Actually, let me look, quickly look her up. Ba -ba -ba. Frozen bar. Uh... Looks like there's a few Roseanne bars. It was a talk show. Okay, then. <laughs> well, you know, your your family is not you. Some people like to say that uh, blood is thicker than water, but sometimes, eh, you know, sometimes. Let's see, so we're going to need a tree, at least one. Uh oh. 
I see. By all means, continue if you wish. Mm-hmm. Throw together these. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I know that pain. <laughs> My mother means well, but she can sort of go Karen, too. Not super Karen, thankfully, but still pretty... Yeah. It happens. Let's see, uh, we need a new shovel, because our old one broke. Something to, you know, replace that. Uh, a few sticks, which we have in our box over here. And a little bit of a uh, rock. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, my mother isn't quite like that. <laughs> Alright, so we just need to wait for that to grow, or alternatively, bone meal it. That can work. Just having none of it, oh no. I imagine that wasn't particularly fun to be a uh, witness to, huh? You brave soul going through that. <laughs> uh, well, you know, as I said, your family is not you. Maybe related, but... Oof. Yeah, that is pretty brutal. Oof. I mean, I I could try to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, I don't know, maybe they were just in the heat of the moment, but still, that is pretty bad. Eee. Eee. <laughs> uh. That is quite unfortunate. You should probably also make some more copper. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Fair reaction. Still. <laughs> yeah. Any copper. Yeah. As. It happens. Your family is not you. I don't think you should feel bad about, you know... I don't think you personally should feel bad uh, for what uh, your family does, right? <laughs> so long as, and I'm pretty sure you weren't complicit in it, yeah. It was out of line, yeah. Sounds like it. Just a little bit. Just a wee bit, but... Get rid of this thing. Any copper around here. We should have some copper somewhere around here. Uh hmm. <laughs> Well, everyone has the uh, family member they're embarrassed of. Well, at least that's what they say. Lord knows, I love my brother. I don't like his uh, political takes. Love him, but still, god damn it. Yeah, he's. I don't know. Yeah, crap. Right. Oh, we're alive, so that matters. That's good. Um. What could I share? I guess he's just got some not great takes on gender and uh, trans people. There's that. And he has a uh, tendency to just 
You know, he's not saying anything particular, but he's just asking questions, you know? Not about anything super yikesy, but still, just asking questions. That's about as far as I'll go into it. I love him. I do. He is my brother, and I wouldn't... I wouldn't toss him out for the world, but still, god damn it. Not like Milo. No, definitely not like Milo. <laughs> definitely not. I don't think he'd uh, fall into those lines of thought, but... God, it's just an obnoxious thing. Oh, for the Jesus Christ, really? God damn, that is some disgusting shit. Who would call for the execution of teachers? I guess if it's that stupid critical race or gender ideology bullshit, I could totally see them saying that sort of thing, but still. Jesus. Hello, Void Region! Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Welcome to Create Above and Beyond. Or we make a bunch of machines that go burr. We've currently got our uh, current setup based on basically uh, automating the first step, so there's that. I did spend a little bit of time uh, perfecting this device. So now it is completely automatic. I don't have to put in any effort other than replacing sieves. What is your opinion on Skyblock? It depends on the Skyblock. Because Skyblocks are... They have a challenge to them, but generally the challenge is basically just waiting around for things to process. Although there are some really cool ones. Not gonna lie. How's our supply of clay doing? I guess I can improve on this clay supply pretty well. Oh, that thing, yeah. I know exactly what sort of argument you're talking about. We're also talking about, you know, like, a little bit of politics, a little bit of, uh, that sort of stuff. Wherever we happen to go. What is your opinion on minions doing everything for you? I'm not against it. Are you referring to a rats-based, uh, skyblock? Yeah, I don't get what's with that whole frickin' hormone therapy culture war bullshit that they're putting out there. That whole, oh yeah, the school nurses, high pixel skyblock. Hey, maybe. I have seen a little bit of Hypixel, and I've seen like a uh, a glance of the Skyblock game that they have built into there, but... I don't know. I've never been too into the, uh, the bucket or uh, plug-in based mods. Just not my thing. Any gender or sexuality. Well, good on them. The only problem I have is that that whole don't say gay bill thing is... Well, you can only really do so much, right? Because straight is kind of the assumed presumption. It's the assumed... Uh... I want to say alignment, but that's not quite right. It's not like it's freaking D&D or something. <laughs> the assumed... Uh... Sexuality. Straight cis is kind of the assumption. So I mean, like, fair enough. If that's what they, if they are actively trying to fight back with that, if you want to use the, those words, fighting back, I mean, they're welcome to try. Whatever. If you'd like to ever change your mind, I have a cop looking for a new member. Well, I appreciate the offer, Void Region, but I'm good, but thank you. I like having mods with, you know, fancy graphics. I need them shiny stuff. Let's remove this pipe, shift this, ow, right, that is uh, very burny. I'm probably gonna die of fire, but yeah, we, we did good. Oh, thank god. That was a little closer than I was uh, hoping. Me, yeah, it's, uh, it's just not great. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really, uh, 
glad to hear that people are very much against the freaking don't say gay bill. It's weird. The only piece, uh, the only people, I guess, yeah, pieces of, uh, crud, if you want to use that word, uh, who are actually advocating for it are the freaking parents. He gosh darn it. I suppose I could do that, yes. I could deign to eat some berries. <laughs> I really need to set up a proper farm for this. God damn, that is a loud eating sound. I really wish I could, like, modify the sound of uh, specific actions, but, yeah. It really does seem like the only people who are actively trying to get the uh, Don't Say Gable to work is the uh, parents, and that's it. Which kind of proves the point. That half a heart had us all shaking in our booties. That kind of shows that, yeah, no, it's not really potato farm. Yeah. The whole idea of uh, people getting converted to being gay or, or trans by learning about these things is kind of bullshit. I don't know if that, that's proved by the uh, very students wanting to actually, you know, learn how that uh, how the parts work and all that, but... Renewable food, plus if you cook it, you get more hunger. That's true. That is true. Straightness all my life. Hell, I was surrounded by straightness all my life, and I'm ace. So. <laughs> Who knows? Magically happens. Obviously, obviously, what ended up happening was, uh, the, the gay vibes that were given off by the internet, uh, got to you. And that's how it happened, naturally. Yeah, I should probably, uh, focus on healing a little bit. <laughs> you do need that copper, though. <laughs> yeah, that is accurate, Void Region. We could use potatoes. Go full on Russian. It's like that damn phone on the internet. Stop trying to become unalive. No. I must become. I must. I must ascend to the. The astral plane, so I can build all my machines in there. I must perfect my golden core, and by doing that, I must die. Or in order to do that, I must die. Naturally. I mean, that's just that's just that's just logic right there. Carrots work, although they're not great. They're a functional food source. Better than sweet berries, so there's that. <laughs> Any other areas that we can really tap into for copper? We could go to the bottom and then come back up. That would give us access to a decent swab, but that's pretty deep metal, not really shallow. Mine for diamonds, find diamond, fall in lava, get no get diamond. <laughs> As a uh, solid strategy, yes. A strategy for suffering. Hey. That's all the copper we needed. Or throw the whole stack of diamonds in lava. That is also an option. Accidentally press Q instead of uh, A, and toss your uh, diamonds in. Oof. Truly vicious. How dastardly. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have to get this uh, fully automated. Both gathering the lava and uh, actually processing the ore and turning it into various uh, things. Shouldn't be too hard to do, right? God damn. That is a strong reaction for some uh, fake diamonds, but... Eh, fair enough. I believe you, Cuddlin. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
Right, so we need that tree to grow. Welcome to Minecraft. Immediately tosses all your stuff into the lava. And we actually have to go down there and kill a... At least a skeleton. Or find a rib. That would also work. Sadly, we can't pluck our own rib out, so, I mean, we're gonna have to get it some other way. Shouldn't be impossible. Well, thank you, Cuddlin. There we go. What, no bone? So, Terraria. <laughs> what about it? I am well aware of Terraria, yes. Oh, don't worry, they've already got that covered. It's... I don't know, I don't know if I would call it complicated. It exists. Actually, building for it? Yeah. There's nothing more to say. Terraria is... Once you get the gist of it... You get the gist of it, but I'm not super keen on it. It's a lot more, um, adventure-focused. I don't have a weapon. Should probably back out and get a weapon. <laughs> well, I guess now that we have the machines, I guess we can make, uh, some sort of spinny thing. To collect some food. Very well. If I must. If I must. Uh, so the best way to get food is through some sort of rotate. Rotato, if you will. Terraria is just Minecraft but two-dimensional? Eh, I would disagree with that. Yes, it is. it does have some Minecraft-like uh, features to it. Building, you know, uh, constructing various things. This is true. But, Terraria is way more adventure-focused than Minecraft is. Uh, I guess we could use... I don't want to use our diamonds, because I kind of want to hold on to those for later. I guess we could just use stone again? Yeah, stone's fine. Stone is functional. It is way more adventure and combat focused than Minecraft ever was. Is it? I don't know about that one. And this is where you introduce mods. Accurate. Accurate. But, like, on a base level, it is just 100% way more focused on, on combat and uh, beating up enemies. Alright, so we're making a food farm now, I guess. Sure, we'll make some food. Uh, in order to make this, we're going to have to make a device. Some sort of a uh, grand contraption. And the best way I can think of would be to make a spinny thing. Spinny things seem to be the most functional. Now. What kind of spinny thing should we make? I'm thinking... Yeah, we could flatten out some more land and... Claim a spot. I think a back here could work? Over here by the sheet? Minecraft is a game where you mine and craft. Terraria is also a game where you mine and craft. This is true. This is true. Although, technically, by that logic, then, uh, Warframe would be Minecraft Button Space. Because, you see, in, in Warcraft, you also mine, and you also craft things. <laughs> technically, yes. But also, no. We should probably build... I think we can, uh... Plains of Eidolon is just Minecraft for sure, basically. <laughs> Rimworld. Well, Rimworld is less so. You don't have direct control over it or anything. But yes, you do mine and you do craft in Rimworld. That is also true. Also, hello, elf players. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Can't wait for the new x update. When is that coming out? What are they adding? If you don't mind me asking. Mm 
I must have misspaced something. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So why isn't this right? Hmm. That was right, the procedural weapons. Because of the new system. Oh no. Are we gonna get a weapon that's just a giant uh, knob at the end of a stick? Oh no. Also, how the weapons work is going to be different. Oh, that's what I messed up. There we go. There we go. Your first few days are hell, then you make a portal to go to hell, and then it becomes even worse. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to want to come in from the top. Why from the top? Because we need a little bit of... Well, actually, we can make a waterlogged axle. That wouldn't work great, so... Yeah, we're coming in from the top. Shouldn't be too hard to do. If it's a hook, it's gonna stab like a hook. Basically that logic. That sounds funky, but okay. I hope they manage to make it work. Exanima is a very unique game, so... It'd be a shame to see it die out because they decided to do something... silly. Here's our center. How does a dog know how to dog? It is born with the knowledge. Dogs have an instinctual knowledge of what the hell to do. Humans don't. It gets so weird. Oh, it absolutely is. We're going to need some andesite to make some of the uh, require machines. Everything about combat weapons. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Build some andesite alloy, make a few machinery. There we go. Bunch of kinetic. Exactly the same way, Void Region. I can't find anyone to play the new Warframe bounties with. That is unfortunate. Uh, have you... have Words are hard. Have you been having any luck with finding uh, gyre parts? Because I've been having the absolute worst luck. I keep getting uh, plumes rather than actual... Uh, bits that I need. I can bring snacks and cheer you up. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need a few harvesters. Hey, we can actually also uh, upgrade our kelp farm to get the 100% uh, of it. I haven't really even really tried to get gyre yet. I was focused on ranking up in the faction. Well, fair enough. Hmm. Some of these, some of these, yes, yes, this should work well. Grab our wrench, because we have it. Looking a little sus. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, Void Region, at the very least it isn't a Canada hoodie. Or for me, isn't even a shooter now with how melee weapons keep getting buffed. Yeah. Look, they're trying. They're trying their best. There we go. The Mogus. Mmm, <laughs> yes, spin. <laughs> spin. There we go. Toss the kelp there so that it can be processed, just like everything else. Not sure what the hell to do with this perch. I mean, it exists, but it's a perch. I haven't really been paying much attention to Sweet Generis, I gotta admit. Don't get me wrong, it could be really good, but nah, I just haven't really been paying much attention to it. What are they up to nowadays? Teach it to dance. <laughs> I guess kelp. I guess kelp could be used for food. Just pop it in a furnace. That is true, but we're not going to be using it for food. Don't worry, we're going to be using something completely different. We're going to be using wheat because wheat is very easy to do. 
Wheat takes a little effort. Hydrate? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got my drink right here. Lord knows. I drink a lot of soda. Probably way more than is healthy, but I do drink a lot of it. My voice just cracks regardless. <laughs> yeah! I feel honored. <laughs> oh, it's not coffee. Nothing but, nothing but Diet Conk. Hmm. We're gonna have to place some more water blocks if we want to get this to work. <laughs> coffee. Well, if you got coffee, by all means. That sounds pretty good. He's lying to us. Weirdly enough, coffee doesn't actually do much to me. For some reason, I just don't have any effect from coffee. It doesn't perk me up, it doesn't wake me up, it doesn't really do anything to me. And I don't know why. Keep your best in voice strikes again. <laughs> I imagine it's mostly just because I haven't really used it for a very long time. I don't want that there. Soda does more for me than coffee? Hey, fair enough. Coffee makes you sleepy. Fair enough. Throw some super glue. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just doesn't really do anything to me. I've tried my best to get, like, uh, a good idea of, like, various types of blends of coffee, but... For whatever reason, nothing. I just don't drink it at this point, honestly. There we go. Stick on some harvesters. Uh, probably gonna want to throw on a portable storage interface. Come on, slap that on there. There we go. That'll do. All we need is a very simple uh, chest. Oh yeah, and the uh, bearing. Almost forgot about the bearing. But yet, I've tried for pretty much my entire life to see if... Hey, is copy going to work now? Is copy going to work now? Not once. Uh, I really don't know why. My best guess is probably because my parents drink a lot of coffee. So maybe my body just got used to it uh, when I was uh, still in the womb. That's my best guess, but it's not a very good guess, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Overstay my already long stay? Well, that's absolutely fine, cuddling. <laughs> Void region has joined the game. I want to keep watching? Well, I'm not going to stop you, but at the same time, rest is important. A healthy body requires plenty of rest. <laughs> I know that struggle. I appreciate you stopping by, Cuddlin. Hope you have a good sleep. <laughs> uh, we still need to throw together a clockwork bearing. So what do we need for... Not clockwork. A uh, mechanical bearing. That's what it's called. And 2,000 calories a day. That's for the average human, yes. For the average humming. Should probably have said that as a important thing. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Salutations, Dr. Pudum. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. At this point, we're basically just, you know, making some uh, quality of life machines. <laughs> Excellent timing, Pudum. Perfect timing. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Cuddlin. I do have an archive channel if you're ever worried about missing something. So you can always take a look at that if you need. Do you have any orders of kingliness? I have absolutely no orders. For I am a shut-in and stay in the castle all day, every day. 
<laughs> Hello, Cuddle Infant Twist Chat. We should throw this on there. There we go. This will allow it to spin pretty easily. All we need to do is provide some power now. And the best way I can think of is probably just to use a belt. I have a Chick fil A sandwich. Tragically, tragically. Yeah, this should do. Goodbye, Cuddlin. Thank you again for stopping by. I have no idea, Dr. Putum. Sometimes Chad goes a little strange and I just kind of roll with it. <laughs> We should probably throw together some more inside casings. <laughs> uh, we need a lot of this stuff. God damn. Thankfully, we just make constant quantities. Very well, my liege. I'm confused, but okay. Um. Hmm. I don't think we've ever actually played a game that had the player as a king. Huh. Maybe I should find one. Might be fun. Might be fun. So together some cogwheels. Just something to work with, you know. A little something something. Our souls king and we are his servants. Okay then. Sure. I prefer to think that everyone is a king or queen in their own right. With some very few exceptions. So, chat is also king. Low spy. Oh, we finally got a tree! So now that we got the arboreal extractors functioning, we can actually have some uh, proper, you know, use here. As you can see, we're collecting some resin. Uh, this will allow us to get uh, rubber a little more easily. <laughs> but sir... Are you going to ask if everyone is king? How can anybody, anyone be king? Because it's just logic. It's just facts and hard logic. Except for actual monarchs. <laughs> Monarchy is just a... Is just a... According to the laws of royalty, there shan't be more than one king. Really? There's some interesting historical examples. I don't remember exactly what it was, but there are things like duarchies. If I remember correctly. Isn't there? Dual monarchy. Yeah. No, that's different. Duarchy? Is that a thing? Yeah, duarchies. Or duumbrates. There's also triumvirates. There's some really weird ones. A monarchy is just a, a king that can't share. That's all. We are all kings and queens in our own right. Let no one tell you otherwise. They are merely trying to put you down and, and, and take your power for themselves. that there another gearbox to get this to spin and once this gathers enough this will allow us to make some free rubber now rubber will then be processed pressed well not pressed uh, heated and uh, turned into the good shit if you will so I beat the last boss of Monster Hunter World is the Iceborne DLC worth it 1000% Dr. Putum the Iceborne DLC adds a lot of uh, new monsters, specifically adds in a bunch of subspecies, um, such as the Fulgaranjanath, the, uh, what was it called? Right, the, I don't remember what the exact name was, but it's a uh, venomous, um, god damn it, the only thing I can think of is to remember them by is the fact that it sounds Italian as hell. Good shit, a great way to word it, your kingliness. <laughs> it is some primo shit. 
What's it called now? Right, Toby Kadachi. The venomous Toby Kadachi is in uh, Iceborne. Uh, it also adds in a uh, few elder dragons, such as the what was it called? I don't remember what it was called, but it's got these crazy eyes and uses sonic attacks. That's all I can really remember from it. But it was a pretty good fight. Most importantly, Iceborne adds in the Fatalis. Its name is spelled Fatal Is. That is a Fatalis. <laughs> Uh, and it lives up to its goddamn name. It is, uh, not a force to be trifled with. We're gonna need some andesite to make a proper, uh, connection. Time to waste more money. That is entirely up to you. All I can say is I 1000% recommend it. It is well worth the money spent. Otherwise, entirely up to you, my friend. I'm gonna need one more point up. And we should be able to spread a... Well, not spread, uh... Yeah, no, actually spread a, uh, uh... Belt across the way. Yeah, it's about even, give or take. Rubber. Uh, so we got the rubber. Now we just need a way to... Slime Rancher. <laughs> uh, if only. Curing by flame. Smelt the raw rubber into its cured state. Bon appétit. Okay, so if we want to smelt this stuff... We're gonna need some way of actually pulling that off. Because this is not set up to be a very efficient way of doing it. Now we could try... Hmm. If we were to attach... Slimersure is cute, but a bit meh. It is pretty cute. Actually... Okay, I have an idea. What if we were to just repurpose this to also cook up... Yeah, this could work. So if we were to break this... Damn it, give me that. It's not so cute when the tarts come out. The what's? <laughs> also, yeah, there's a Slime Rancher too? Oh, tars. Fair enough. I was a little confused there. Coming 2022. Ah, so it's coming out soon. Not quite there yet, but soon. Soon, TM. Uh, we should probably start growing that wheat. Sooner rather than later. Even if we don't have the spin going quite yet. Mm -hmm. We can still start this farm going. Hmm. Shouldn't take us long. There we go. The spin doctor is almost ready. Soon. Huh. I wasn't aware that they were making a slime rancher too. But that does sound pretty, pretty good if it is a uh, thing that exists. So we need a. Where is it? There should be an oak tr There's the oak trim. We're gonna need one of these so we can actually make a uh, filter. Just something, you know. So we can filter out our uh, rubber collection. Um, definitely gonna need a few more belts. So we'll just cook these up real quick. They haven't advertised him much. Is it on Steam? Because if so, I'd be I'd be game to play it. There we go, cured rubber. Slime Rancher. Oh yeah, it is on Steam.
It certainly looks like a thing. Huh, it looks like you got some uh, crossbreeds in there. Could be good. Could be good. So we're going to need a rubber uh, drawer, which will allow us to collect vast quantities of rubber without much issue. But yeah, that should be good. This should be pretty easy to build. At least, theoretically. Use the platform so we don't have to worry too much about it. Alright. Well, it'll be a little bit of an issue if it just breaks away. They shot off bunny slimes in a trailer. Yeah, I saw that. Yes, yeah, Banui slimes. Banui. Who knows what the hell it eats? But, you know, still. Question though, do they have wolf slimes as well? That prey on the bunny slimes. Are they gonna have some sort of weird uh, slime eat slime type thing? Is it going to be like an entire ecosystem, but it's all slime? Right, down here. Axolotl slimes. Axolotls are already slimy enough without being uh, literal slime. They don't need the help. <laughs> uh, we need a... Let's see. How do we place this? Hmm. I guess here would be fine. Place some cured rubber in there, lock it. So it doesn't change. Place some bricks onto it so that we can actually hold on to it. Place a funnel so it's sucking in. And what that means is that we can now refurbish this to both handle the requirements of our um, algal bricks and our rubber at the same time. Because we don't get a lot of algal bricks, honestly. It's a steady influx, but it's not constant. And as you can see, the belt's kind of available right now. So what we can do... My fingers slipped off the keyboard. Um, is we can run rubber when it's not running uh, algal paste. Yeah, I don't know how you would do axolotl slimes, honestly. They're already pretty slimy. They're pretty slimy already. Probably set up a platform here, yeah. Should give us some access. This does, this works. Give me that cured rubber so we can then head up here and make a belt with which to finish up our rubber machine. And we should be set. With this rubber machine, we'll be able to make the hose pulley that we require. And why do we need a hose pulley? It's because I don't want to go down and grab, uh, ru uh not rubber, lava every single time I need a uh, refill on our foundry. Because we are going to be making a foundry. Uh, that foundry will be the basis for a lot of our designs. But, you know, I don't want to spend all that effort getting all the, the lava ourselves. That seems like a lot of work. And I'm a lazy lottle, so, you know, screw that. <laughs> That's spinning the right way, so we can make full use of that. And that way it'll spit out the rubber, it'll go down here, and then it'll start cooking. There we go, curing by flame. Um, it's really no hassle to do things manually. If you must, you can always come back with some mechanical crafters later on. Yeah. Because this doesn't really have a, uh, a built-in recipe for deploying. So we can't actually do the whole assembly line thing with it. We have to do the automated shape crafting for it if we want them. Uh, thankfully, we don't really need them for a lot. Sealed mechanisms are great. But they're not really that necessary right now. All we really need them for is copper machines right now. I mean, the, the smeltery would be great, but not right now. 
As for copper machines, this stuff is used for all the liquid shenanigans. This is what you use for um, producing hose pulleys, producing portable fluid interfaces, which we won't be using very much. And finally, the important one for Pudum, the smart fluid pipes, which we'll be using to pump uh, honey out of beehives when we get the chance. And that is the plan, at least. <laughs> There we go. On top of that, we now have a steady influx of rubber, which is useful for, go figure, mechanical belts. Mechanical belts will allow us to pull off all sorts of weird shit. That being said, we still need to find some way of actually getting the beehives is the problem, Putum. We need a uh, silk touch device. Or some way of moving the uh, hives over. So we can't really pull it off yet. None shall escape my honey deluge. Your honeyed wrath, your sickeningly sweet, uh. destruction. What's this gonna reach? Okay, that's not quite far enough. So we'll need to go pretty much midway? I'm thinking here. My sweet nectar of doom. Oh no. There we go. Now I'll spin that. It looks like it's gonna spin this way, so we're actually gonna wanna reverse the, uh. Harvesters. It's not too hard to do, to be fair, so, I mean, we can do it. Reverse the polarity. There we go. All we need is one more mechanical belt, but thankfully we don't really have to put much effort into it, because, I mean, we just make rubber, so now we can fully uh, abuse the fact that we have uh, large quantities of rubber sitting around. Or at least a decent quantity of rubber sitting around. We need to build up the, uh, the massive quantity, you know? Um, but yeah, if you got any suggestions on how to like uh, silk touch up some beehives so that we can actually make use of them, put them, I would be happy to hear it because then we could go out and uh, hunt down some some hives. But as it stands right now, we don't really have a good way of moving them around. Hive, puff bug hive, huh? A beehive would work. I guess a nest would be better. What the heck is a puff bug hive? My knowledge of new mods is lacking. Bee nests are actually uh, pretty standard. They're just default Minecraft. Weirdly enough. <laughs> but I did learn that fluid pipes are actually really effective at... Uh, Harvesting bee juices. Specifically, you can pull from all sorts of things. Source blocks. Objects. Regular blocks. Yeah, that's our plan right there. Just, you know, pull from them. It's fine. <laughs> Soon. We do have the technology. Too many words that end with Arky. My favorite is Anarchy. Well, Arky is a... I don't know what it means as a suffix. Arky suffix meaning. Uh, Arky is used like a suffix meaning rule or, go or government. Therefore, Anarchy is no rule or government. And Duarchy is two government or two rule, two government. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So that would explain why there's a lot of words that end in Archy, because it's a suffix. Therefore, a lot of words are gonna have it. 
You know? Grab this. Bring it over here. Whoa! Yep, there we go. B key. I guess that would be AP key, wouldn't it? It would have to be something Greek in order to make it really function, but yeah. Pretty much, yeah. B key. B who has the bees. Rules. <laughs> APRP sounds too correct. I don't really know Latin, so I couldn't say. Unfortunately. Latin is not my strong suit. Uh, we're gonna need some way of collecting all that, so... Hopper? Could work. I need something to dump it out into. If we get it wrong anyways. I know, right? Their face will be too full of bees in order to actually uh, dispute it. <laughs> a temporary solution for a thing that I don't really care too much about? It exists. polychromatic today thank you <laughs> I I do uh, take pride in the sheer amount of, uh, of colors I added into my scheme I do appreciate having more than one color yes how do I want to extract from this I guess I could hopper it that requires a lot of iron but it also works just fine for the most part A hopper would do it. Yeah, we're gonna grab a, a hopper. Just something to, you know, acquire the materials. That's all we really need. We don't need it to be fancy, we just need to be functional. At least you're not monochromatic, exactly. Monochromacy is a very black and white view of the world, you know? Should be some iron left over down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure we can acquire a decent quantity. At least enough to hopper some stuff. You know? Huh. That makes me a little nervous. You guys believe in colors. Indeed. Did you know that colors are a social construct? <laughs> Throw together some iron. Just a little bit. Enough. Enough iron to make the hopper. That's all we really care about. I do want to get the, uh, the iron generator going at some point, though. There we go. Iron generators aren't too hard to make with Create. You really just need some way of getting gravel in large quantities. And I think I already know of a way, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. It should be pretty easy. Okay, then a pedestal. Huh. Chip out this. Decent amount of material, decent amount so far. You can also make a gold generator as well, which is pretty easy to make as well. You just need a way to get red sand, which is also supremely easy. Given we have granite cobblestone, so we can just break that down into red sand. <laughs> the question is how we're going to get large quantities of soul sand, because we can't haunt something. The falling stones really L plus you fell off in Minecraft. Pretty much. 
Owl plus no sword plus fell off plus uh, no armor. That's yeah, fine. They are an interesting addition. I gotta admit, they're not vanilla, but it would be kind of cool if they added it in. <laughs> Plus punch trees. Let it grind. Come on, you can do a millstone. There we go. We don't need a lot of iron. We already got a little bit of stockpile, so that should be fine. And by stockpile, I mean three ingots. Apparently. Yeah, there's a lot of things we still have to get done. Ba -ba -ba. Throw together some planks. We'll shift these tulips over so that they're not in the way. Simple chest. Yeah. Nice little hopper. I <laughs> think about Minecraft your mama jokes. Oh no. Those probably exist in large quantities, don't they? Oh god. <laughs> well, you know, bad jokes are eternal. They're just eternal. You'll find them no matter what. You'll find them everywhere. And they exist whether you like them or not. Not sure what the hell to do with red concrete, but okay, we got some red concrete. And a pedestal. Not sure what to do with that, but okay. My precious. Imagine making bad jokes. I know, right? All right, so, sealed mechanisms. We should have a little bit of a stockpile of rubber by now. At least something to... Nowhere near enough, okay then. Well, that's unfortunate. Huh. We're gonna have to wait a bit longer, annoyingly enough, but uh, that is still doable. A uh, good supply of sealed mechanisms, your future self will thank you. <laughs> we can now think about alluring experience, er, expedients. Now we're going to have to do quite a bit of this. The automation target this time is the electron tube. Placing them onto the kinetic mechanism will send you to the next tier. Really, this is going to vibe with one and a half heart and almost no food. Why would I need any more? I don't see what, I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> Welcome back, Void Region. I am starving. But we have our spinny boy. It is operable. Ah, phone died. Well, fair enough. Right, this that would explain why this isn't producing anything useful. We don't have any chests on it. He cut dang it. He... <laughs> Trust me, I'm trying. I'm trying. But, uh, eating is hard when you're... Hello there, no location. There we go. Well, oh, no, let's place it... Eh, here. Shaft. Cool. Anything weird, you can encase them. Yeah, that's all it's got. That's all it's got to say. What a nice view. New. New. <laughs> but yeah, this should work fine. Can you press tab for like 10 seconds? I don't know what tab for 10 seconds would do.
Uh, oh wow, there's actually a lot of different weird hotkeys. Tab. Huh. The secret hero by mode. Ah, I see. My in-game name? It is this. There we go. Axolotl. Yeah, I'm not playing on a uh, multiplayer server. We're playing on a on a single player server. Simple as. Axolotl. Because, you know, I mean, it's a pun. Why not go for that, right? Um, hmm. Our food is processing. Our devices are running. We have no apples. Is this processing? I don't know. I can't tell. I guess we just have to wait and see when it uh, grows and then we can see if it actually uh, connects and properly does its thing. Although I get the feeling we should probably slow it down. <laughs> Never. No bow meal? No bow meal. Sadly. All we have is the white dye. Hmm. Forms one full rotation before hitting that. Boneless, exactly. Mealless. Eh, it picked up something. Does it dispense that something? Yes, it does. Healthless. <laughs> it is what it is, sadly. It is a tragedy, but we must go on without food. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Um, there is one other way that we can make some food. It's not great, but it is functional. Death more. Okay then. Diamond, plus a little bit of, uh, you know, stick. Action here. We're gonna need a few bits. We're gonna need at least eight clay blocks worth of clay. Wouldn't be too hard to do. It's just eight blocks. It's still like a stack of bricks that we need to make, but it's still something. It's still doable. Uh, we're gonna need a couple of campfires and we're gonna need some material. Gameless. Oof. That's a good thing I don't care about having games, so there's that. <laughs> Two, okay. Wouldn't be too bad. Where's some more clay? Something to work with. Lifeless. Oh, I'm sure I will be soon. Don't worry about that. What I'm thinking is we're going to make some fish fillets. And then we're going to use a stove and a skillet in order to uh, cook it. I don't know what you're talking about. I am plenty colorful. Monochromatic. Oof. The worst insult you've thrown so far. <laughs> that should be good. We need one more block's worth just for, like, the, uh... Coal consumption. So... L plus no health plus eat food plus no clay. <laughs> I'm working towards, and I'm working towards. I want to avoid having to use any fuel to actually cook the food, that's the thing. I want cheap food, is the thing. And the easiest way to do that, at least in my view, is to make some stoves and some food cooking items. Specifically, A, the skillet, and B, the pot. The skillet just allows you to cook things as if it were on a campfire. It's nothing fancy, but it works. And the pot lets you make full-on meals. We're not talking, like, uh, a simple uh, steak. We're talking, like, spaghetti and meatballs. 
that sort of a uh, meal. And I think we can place them right here. Yep, that'll do. Grab some charcoals. That way we can actually make the thing. Uh, we're gonna need a knife, something a little functional. Belay knife. Oh, we need two of them, eh? Well, that's a fancy knife. But I want it, so we're making a diamond fillet knife. Fillet knives! They'll let you do this. We now have raw fish fillets. These are kind of cruddy food sources, but you can use them to make sushi. Or you can smoke them to make fillets, which are like uh, carrots. That being said, we don't have any scissors, so we can't really cut that. But, eh, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, what? Buddy steel fillet knife. Okay, then. Cool. We need a stove. Stove's pretty simple. Some bricks, a campfire. And then you get a stove. Now we need some more wood. Wood, some logs, something to work with here. Not too keen on making uh, or eating some sashimi, you know. It's not exactly the best food item. Oh, we should have enough food soon. I'm thinking this spruce should do just fine. It'll provide me the wood I need, right? Yeah, perfect. An entire spruce worth, uh, spruce's worth to make an infinite uh, fuel stove. Just a little something to work with. Uh, some sticks. That'll be six sticks in order to make it. Yep, that'll work. Some sticks. Ba -ba -ba. And then we can go full on cooking mama with this. Throw together some bricks. Here's the first one. The first stove. The joy of cooking. Fire up the grill. Oh, it gives us a raw salmon. Cool. Behold, the stove. If you jump on it, yes, you do get burnt. So, I'm not going to do that. Skillet. Skillet. <laughs> An indestructible skillet, okay. A brick and four iron, okay. That can be arranged. One skillet. Domesticated fire, exactly. Place it on there. Mmm. Plus death squared. Oh, man. Not just standard death. Death squared. There we go, we got some meat in us now. Can't be too mad. Delicious fillets. Filet-o fish. But you know, an actual filet of fish. We have no iron. Thankfully, I don't have to be there. Uh, don't do this at home. This is very dangerous. But, yeah. Throw together another stove. This will be our uh, pot stove. That way we can actually hold on to the uh, skillet as well, if we ever need it. Uh, no, you can put out the uh, ovens. I don't recommend it. I really don't recommend it. Uh, simple reason. While it does provide you charcoal, it puts it out and you need to... Life, death, square, times Minecraft. Oh god. It's turning into equation. He's speaking in tongues. How many more... How many more filet of fishes there? There we go. Uh, we need a pot. What can we do to get one? There's the pot. Five iron, a water bucket, 
two bricks and a wooden shovel. We got the bucket, so we really just need some iron now. As if we haven't needed iron, like, the entire time. Uh, back into the mines we go. At least we got food now. We can make use of the gar and <laughs> the various fish that we've acquired. That's nice. That's lovely, skeleton. Life, death, life minus death square times Minecraft divided by RimWorld. I'm pretty sure RimWorld is death, so I mean, do you really need to have the same thing in there twice? Eh, okay. That's not bad, a shulker box. That's actually pretty handy. Thanks, I think. Eh? Death divided by taxes. Or death and taxes, sorry. The two inevitabilities. Hmm. Hmm. Very echoey here. <laughs> Death plus taxes minus money plus regret squared. Oof. And that's why you don't stand on the ore. Yeah, that's a dangerous thing right there. As for what to do with that... Huh. So what I'm thinking is we're going to use the hose pulley, but we're going to basically just put it at the surface and then uh, have the pulley just kind of go down to uh, <laughs> to whatever supply of lava we choose. It shouldn't take us too long to get a uh, pulley all the way down there. Superman lost his parents twice. Dear God. Orphan squared. Poor Superman. All he has is powers now. Could be useful in the future. That's explosives. Not too keen on fighting that right now. We'll just leave it be. Alright. So. Oh, police. Your pawn mega stupid. <laughs> Good. Then it fits in with me. It is up to par with me. There we go. Um, hmm. You see, my pawn and I are so stupid that we actually wrap around all the way to genius. It's like that one trope, too stupid to fool. There we go. <laughs> Our brains are so small that they have space to, to cool off. Yeah! Sounds like I am uh, testing the medical systems in Gingerweb's colony. Uh, therefore, I am being uh, incredibly smart because that way we know that, yes, these uh, these emergency services do work. Big brain plays. From small brain, uh, from small brain characters. These are just facts. Also, hello, Dark Angel. How you doing? Welcome. I'm glad to have you. Right now we're mostly just working on uh, feeding ourselves, as well as generally uh, tending to trying to get our uh, devices running properly. We're trying to get the uh, lava elevator, King Axel squared. I still don't know why you guys consider me the uh, the king here, but okay. I will take it. If someone must take this position, then let the crown fall on my head. And potentially give me brain damage. Because crowns are heavy as hell. <laughs> Seriously though, crowns are heavy. If it's a proper crown, we're talking like full on gold and such. That thing is heavy as hell. You do not want one of those falling on your head. 
<laughs> you will get concussed a little bit. It's almost a guarantee, really. We should make a spoon. Spoon is made of stick and wood. There we go. There's our spoon. Our big old spoon for our big old pot. Yeah, and that's why I don't want to have to... Okay. Hello, Revenge of Kindly. How you doing? Welcome. All hail Lord Axel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a crown emoji, aren't I? Alright, well, I can, I can grab one of those. Don't worry. Doing good? Good. Glad to hear it. We're mostly just, uh, focusing on trying to improve on our little, uh, setup so we can actually, you know... Have food. Axolotl wearing crown, yes. <laughs> Give. Um, we're mostly working on trying to get the uh, food supply fixed, mostly at the uh, urging of Void and Pudum. <laughs> I see that something changed up. By, uh, by all means, explain. I don't want to fall in there because I would roast alive, so that's a, uh, bad situation. There we go. Your pro ah, yes, the profile. Indeed, I figured I, I, I'm probably overdue to change out my icon given that, uh, I haven't used that old model in a while. So, yeah, we're working with this now. God, we have a lot of rubber ducks. <laughs> Come to the Axolotl Kingdom. Uh, Void Region and Pudum have decided that I am apparently a king, although I would say that everybody is a king and queen in their own right. How much food have we collected from here? Uh, a decent bit, a decent amount. A solid quantity. We can make pasta, which would be handy. A honey cookie. Cookies, cakes, breads, wheat doughs, daub. Everyone is a king. <laughs> Never put others above yourself. Everyone is only human. Even your heroes are monsters in some ways. This is just facts. Ooh, sweet berry cookies. So that way I can just eat berries while not eating berries. Hmm. Raw pasta. Okay. We can use some pasta. Pasta is very handy. It does take a little bit of work to actually make the uh, pot work properly, and it requires a lot of different ingredients. You can't just make uh, steak, 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 steak. You can't make steak piles. Pasta is the best. This is true. Although it's got limited uses in this case. Uh, you can make dumplings, you can make pasta with mutton chops, you can make uh, baked cod stew. Noodle soup. Axel, Lord of Axolotl's gaming technology. I don't know about technology. Pasta with meatballs. <laughs> Squid ink pasta. Dog food. Huh. Veggie noodles. Hot cocoa. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, meals that you can make with the uh, the the pot, but you need to have a, a source of heat below it, and that's what the stove is for. Right, I need to actually fill this with water. That should be fine. It shouldn't take us too long to get right. Pretty easy. Task completed. Water bucket. Huh? Oh, it's that, the water supply. 
The easiest source is from an ocean, which we can provide. Or we can start sucking uh, from the river. That could work too. That might be too bad to do. I mean, it'd suck for anything living in the water, but... Yeah, water bucket. <laughs> I... I see? You know, I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> I am not gonna question it. I'm confused, but I won't question it. Now the question is, what kind of food should we make? We make could try to make cabbage rolls. We don't really have the means to make a noodle soup. Um, mushroom stew isn't really possible. I don't know what comfort does, but okay. Best with meatballs. A god amongst us less superior gamers. I don't know what you're talking about. Shall we send the tax collectors? To where? I'm still confused. Where will we tax? We must have a people to tax, you know. If we do have anybody to, if we do need to t collect taxes or what have you, we need to have like somebody to tax, right? Then the question is, who? All the gamers. Ah, I see. <laughs> Why is this backed up? Why are you clogged? It shouldn't be clogged. Is it just because it has nowhere to put this? Could be. Hmm. In the gamer tax, my liege. Oh, it's because that's not functioning anymore. Okay, well that can be arranged. <laughs> Let's pay the gamer tax, my lord. I will not force it. My subjects uh, must, if they desire to be taxed, must tax themselves. Far be it from me to to tell them what to to be taxed for. For I am a generous lord. There we go. Just need to replace this. Now it's running again. It must know their place, my liege. The gamer tax is giving you our watch time. I will take this watch time uh, with with uh, gratitude and appreciation. Or it convinces the Twitch overlords that I might be worthy of having more emotes. Watch time. I don't know... I could hunt down a uh, something like that, sure. Watch. I'm Twitch command. Now to add watch time. Huh. Let's see. Let's try this command. Why not? I can add this in real quick. It's not that bad. Ba -ba -ba, add a command. Let's see if it works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> It's an attempt. I'm not very good at uh, making the commands. I mostly just grab them from the internet, so let's see.
APA, API, API on my, API, API on my chat. Who's API the watch stuff on? Oh, good. Thank you, Twitch. I appreciate you just auto-playing when I uh, go to your website. I appreciate it. <laughs> we don't need to hear doubles. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Up time and watch time. View on Twitch. Check commands. How do I add a watch time command? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nightbot doesn't track the amount of time. Stream elements does. Okay, so that can be arranged. Hmm. I have to do a little bit more uh, work in the background trying to find that, but I will. If I forget by next stream, uh, remind me, please. Because I do want to make it so that uh, any commands you're after could be done, you know? I did my best for a midstream add on, but sadly, didn't work. Tragically, it wounds my soul. Uh, so we can just uh, rely on handcrafting these for now. Seal mechanisms are very useful. Seal mechanisms uh, generally involve anything that requires handling liquids. Or at least low-level things that require handling liquids. We're looking at a copper machine. And this requires copper casing. A little bit more expensive. We cannot see how long we have paid the gamer tax. It is a it is a real tragedy. But I know that you are all loyal to me. I'm going to lurk while hunting some monsters, by all means. Best of luck hunting. Did you grab uh did you grab Iceborne? The Copper Age. Horde has failed us, we must revolt. Oh no. Hey, there we go. Excellent. I highly recommend uh, acquiring quite a few uh, strong items, or not items, strong gear choices before even trying the Fatalis. And also you might want to look up what exactly is going on with Elatrion, because Elatrion is a gimmick and a half. But I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> the Gamer Revolt. Ah, uh, we shall, we shall see. We shall not punish them, for they know not what they do. <laughs> Let's make another copper machine, because we're going to need it. Our first one. Hose pulley. Our second one. Shall I call the banners? Nah, it's, it shall be fine. We shall, we shall, we shall be fine. Worry not. The walls shall hold. Excellent. Alright, so. We're going to need to summon up some lava from the deep. Some spicy liquids, you see. Um, because we need a vast quantity. How did this all start? That is a very good question. I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to keep track of how it started. A happy little accident. There we go. So we're going to need a hand crank, and we're going to need some cobblestones. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, let's throw it down this way. As long as people are enjoying it, you know. That's all that matters to me. We need to go down, down, down into the depths. Uh, we're going to have to figure out exactly where it's going to come up from and try to find an opportune spot. That's not great. <laughs> nothing wrong with being a goof. Absolutely nothing wrong. Throw down some blocks just to have a little bit of a, uh, you know, a buffer preventing us from falling directly into the spicy. Hmm. 
Should we? So we should be good. A couple more. We mustn't call the gamer police. Their gamer revolt has ended. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the most repressed group, gamers. Finally rising up. We should be good to go here. Alright. So what we're gonna do, first and foremost, we're gonna set up a little bit of a waypoint right here. Right on top of our face. It should get us in the ballpark. Close enough. Now we just have to dig a hole straight down. That'll be fine. We can possibly die through this. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a decently opportune place to start uh, tapping into it here. Now I'm wondering... How are we going to set up the piping? Because we're going to have to have a pipe system uh, specifically for water and specific, uh, specifically for lava. That's just a thing that's going to have to happen. It should be around here somewhere, right? Alright, so it's behind the washer. Right around here? Take too deep and too greedily. Right around on that flower, right there. The pink one. Not quite. We're gonna want it like this. One side for the hand crank, because we don't really need any uh, capacity for that, we just need it to be there. One side for the pipe. And this thing allows us to do some wild shenanigans. This thing allows us to pull off a Omega Suck, if you will. The final suckening. Basically, our plan is simple. We dig a gigantic hole all the way down to the lava. Then we come back up and we uh, winch it down so that the uh, hose is properly aligned. Um, from there, we take that liquid and we dredge it back up to the surface. Spooky. Uh, that liquid will then be piped around into the foundry. Do not die, my lord. Death is never an option. I feed you? Since when? Since when? <laughs> there we go. Now we got a straight one by one tunnel straight to bedrock. Or at least lava, so there's that. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is just winch it down. Once it's winched, we should be uh, pretty well set. It shouldn't take us long. We are going to have to sort out all this cobblestone, but... Eh, you know, it is what it is. Um, we are also going to have to set up a proper pipe network leading straight to the foundry and to anything else that we need to really heat up. As long as it requires some spicy magma, some spicy water, we should be fine. Oh, that's filled. Okay, then. It's a lot of diorite. And a lot of granite. Okay. Well, I mean, that'll do. I don't mind it burning. It's excess is what it is. Alright, let's see. So, is this the right way? Yes, this is. <laughs> of course, of course. It'll stop eventually. That's when we know it's done. Until then, we just sort of wait. And give it a spin. A spin. Bean, if you will. Mm. Mm. God, this is taking a while. 
There we go. It's finally hit rock bottom. Just gonna quickly reorganize this so that it's a little faster. Your partner in crime. I would never do a crime. That's ridiculous, Putum. Don't be silly. There we go. That'll make it a little easier on it. Ah well. Mr. Dr. Putum. Oh hey, buddy beans. I was somewhere that we could accrue some there. But hey, whatever. That works. Alright, let's heal up a bit and also, you know, generally recover a little bit. There we go, much better. We have a proper food source now. We can also use this for a variety of things. Mutton wraps, egg sandwiches, bacon sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, hamburgers. All that good stuff. But we still need to set up a little bit of a... I don't know. That's the issue. You need to eat. Never. I am oxygenarian now. I sustain myself off of the energies of the universe. Let's just set this up so that we don't have to worry about it anymore, because this is honestly kind of annoying. There we go, that'll spin it up and do that. And be eating simple servant's bread. I don't have another option, sadly. It is what it is. We work with what we got, right? Okay, so. Now that we have a supply... Well, we don't have a supply of lava yet. We need to... We still need to actually set up the proper... Yeah, okay, so. How are we going to do this? We need some way of storing large quantities of lava. That's just a flat-out fact. We need a lot of it. We need some way of storing large quantities of... Well, no, we don't really need to store large quantities of ore types, do we? What do we need for a spout? Because we're going to need these. What can we make with you? Why did I say just the nether? Well, yes, but we have to get the lava out, right? Somehow. Integral components. Magmatic dynamo. Spouts. Back tanks. Item drains. Aqueous accumulators. Hmm. What can a spout do? Fill fluid holding items provided beneath it. Content of a spout cannot be accessed manually. Instead, pipes can be used to supply it with fluids. Input items can be placed on a depot under the spout or on a belt. And then it'll fill it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this should be uh, certainly something. I gotta admit. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. What do I need? I need some way of storing the, the lava. And some way of getting the lava there, first and foremost. Before anything else, even. Huh. So we should probably make the foundry. A, a room where we, uh... Tend to all the required... Uh, ore processing needs. That would be something. I do agree with you on that. I suppose I can arrange such a thing. Sure. Plenty of straw to make canvas with, which will allow us to uh, strain out some sediments. 
Let's draw a little bit of uh, dirt. That can be done. That can be done. And a side alloy exists. We should probably set up the foundry, which will require a lot of copper. Because we need to make copper tanks. These things. Oh, transport tanks. Huh. Fluid tanks. That could be used to more com uh, compactly store fluids. They can be withdrawn from pipes, but they cannot be drawn from um, buckets. They can be con uh, measured by a comparator. Survival mode fluids cannot be added or taken manually. You can use those to fill them. Or the way we're going to be using is a uh, tinker's tank. They can be combined to increase total capacity. The base square can be up to three blocks wide. And can be frickin' huge. Okay. That can be arranged. So we're gonna need copper casings. We're going to need a lot of copper to make the uh, required uh, nuggets and... Oh, no, we only need the uh, the casings, huh? And a little bit of glass, just to let you, like, actually see it. Okay. Flatten these. And that means that we're going to have a total of eight tanks that we can really use that can be arranged it means we're gonna need eight glass eight glass should be functional and that'll give us a uh, destination so we can uh, actually test out the uh, device make sure that it's withdrawing the uh, liquid properly you know shouldn't be too hard to do All we need to do is make a line leading straight to it, so there's that. Acquire some logs so that we can actually make this thing. <laughs> uh, it's gone from a shrubby area that's uh, that was filled with uh, dense wood and, and leaves to a rather uh, clean pasture. Open and easy to access. Yeah, this should do. This should give us eight uh, logs for us to make a uh, chassis from. Yep, that's eight. Almost thought it wasn't quite enough. There we go. And then we just need the required glass and a little bit more copper. Now... Copper tubing does require some effort to make fluids run in them. Uh, you could try just, you know, putting the pipe there and, and having it work. But that wouldn't work, sadly. No, we need to make pipes. And we need to make pumps. Pipes and pumps, very easy. Throw on a cog, you get a mechanical pump. As for the pipes, they're even easier. Just make a line. That's pretty much it. We're going to be making a uh, heckin' large storage cell. I'm thinking we can integrate it with a wall, because that would allow us to have a, uh, a decent idea of, hey, this is how much more uh, foundry material we have left. There we go. This sucker can hold way too much lava. <laughs> Thankfully, all it requires is a little bit of mechanical power to run that lava up there. Uh, okay, so, lines. How are we going to do this? I'm thinking... Uh oh. Well, I wasn't thinking that well, apparently. 
I was unaware that that was a non-solid object. I really should have expected that, but uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that works. Well, we need a. Uh, I guess we're doing a uh, an OSHA report, huh? Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> This workplace has had zero days since its last accident. Since its last accident. There we go. Hello, me. We can put ladders there. That would allow us to make a uh, safe path down and uh, recover. At the very least, we didn't land in the lava, because yes, lava can still murder us and uh, destroy our items. Which is a little dangerous, you know? So I'm thinking... We need some way to properly get up there again. And grab our stuff. Easiest way to do that is sticks and make ladders. It happens, you know. Accidents happen. As long as it's not at the workplace, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. Some rock to clear up the path. And we should be set. Death is inevitable. <laughs> Uh, as long as we can recover, we're fine. Alright, so we should be able to get back up there without much issue. No amount of iron could have saved me from that. Oh, I see you. I don't think I don't. There we go. Should fade soon enough. Like the memory of all tragedies should. There we go. Yeah, this should do it. Uh, what's up here? This could be a new mining section. You know, somewhere to, to tap into. See what we can find. Hmm. <laughs> There it goes. And this will give us a little bit of a uh, buffer so that we don't immediately fall into the, the molten magma. And we're going to have to make some sort of a... What's the word? A safety railing. Right, that's a thing. Uh, safety railings in order to prevent us from having to deal with the uh, consequences of falling directly into magma. Um, the easiest way I can think of is to just make some fences. Uh, that's not exactly the prettiest though. It does work, though. Uh, we can recycle some from here. That way we don't have to make them ourselves. We can pretty easily just, you know, slap together some posts. Is it a bit slapdash? Hell yeah, it is. But it'll do. Uh, there's some more here. And there's one over here. Regulations are written in blood. Always remember that. <laughs> As for the creation of the uh, fluid pipe system, I'm thinking we're going to go overhead. If for no other reason, then it's kind of cool. Uh, that will allow us to have at least some sort of uh, aesthetic thing going on overhead. Yeah. Plus, we can make full uh, use of the cogs that already exist. So we're going to want a elevation at some point. We're going to need it probably as soon as possible. Well, that'll conflict with that, won't it? It could conflict here, which is a little concerning. No, actually. No, it won't. Okay, so, how are we going to spin this? Because we're going to have to make some pumps somewhere. I 
that's still... Okay, that's good. That's still traversable. That's what I needed. Okay, so next step. We need... Some sort of... Device. To filter out the... Or not filter. Automatically uh, claim the ingots that will be provided. Because I want to make sure that we can actually, you know... Properly situate it. So we just can throw the ore in and forget. Ideally, throw the ore into a barrel or box or something and forget it, leave it, let it run. It'll do its thing. We don't have to care anymore, that sort of thing. But unfortunately, I don't think that's really in the cards yet. So for now... We'll probably rely pretty heavily on just sorting it ourselves by hand. Yeah, sort it by hand, uh, let it go, and then uh, ideally would uh, provide the ingots required. Oh, I need quite a few more pipes. It's like uh, piping a boiler, but instead of steam, it's a frickin' molten rock. <laughs> a little hotter than steam, you know? I do kind of wish that they had a uh, steam mod in here for create, because I know that it exists. I know there was a create mod that lets you make a boiler that then produces steam, which you can use to turn a, uh, uh, not a turbine, but an axle. There we go. A rotor, basically. But instead of providing power, it provides uh, rotational force. Which would be cool as hell. Where's some more copper? We need copper. In large quantities. The main question is, where is it? Hmm. Copper? No, no copper. Copper? Any copper? Not seen any of yet. What version is this on? This is on... I look it up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 1.16.5. It's actually pretty old. Relatively speaking. Not exactly 1.18 or anything. So this would be before the uh, deep slate area. Yeah, you were thinking of going down into Deep Slate, weren't you? And just kill that. No? Oh, really? There was another thing you were thinking of? What, going up to, like, uh, like a mountain or something? I guess that could also work. Hmm. You can find a lot of copper near cliffs out in the open. Yeah, fair enough. Fair point. <laughs> right. There we go. There we go. There should be some copper up here, though, somewhere. Copper likes to be relatively shallow. You don't want it to be too close to the surface, but you'd still want to be close to the surface. Somewhere up here would be perfect for copper, honestly. But I'm not seeing... Oh, there's some. Blended in with the stone. Didn't quite uh, stick out, you know. I do like Create's Copper War better than Minecraft's, because Minecraft's doesn't have the whole uh, aging effect. Where as it oxidizes, it uh, turns green. It's a really cool effect, you know?
Personally, one of my favorite things about Create is the uh, copper ore thing. <laughs> it's really neat. I think that'll be enough copper for now. It's not quite three blocks, but it is close. Basic Minecraft does age. Yeah, but that's your you're thinking of the the actual like smelted copper rather than the copper ore. If I remember correctly, uh, Minecraft uh, copper, the ore at least, does not age. It doesn't really care. It just exists at its uh, oxidized state. Deal with you, deal with you. And there's a duck on his head. Sadly, he does not know how to duck. There we go. <laughs> and old yeah ducky exactly all right so we need to start thinking about alluring expedients could be handy Never know. Hmm. Alluring expedients. We need Skystone. Uh, you can just keep on pulverizing it. Skystone blocks never seem to lose mass in the process. What a world we live in. Find Skystone blocks at meteor crash sites. If you haven't encountered any, try looking for one using the meteorite compass. Can you place ducky like block or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> uh, the purpose of ducks in this one is actually kind of important. See, rubber ducks are used to make eternal stele. Eternal stele are used to make indestructible stuff. <laughs> so it's pretty important to have them. And these eternal stele are absolutely vital. Not only can you uh, use them to repair items that aren't indestructible, but you can smith them to things in order to make them indestructible, allowing you to make all sorts of weird stuff happen. Like a saw that never breaks. Wouldn't that be handy? Where are you at? You're fine. Eh, that is true, but it is functional. That's the important part. Spacesuit tank. Matter plastics. Okay, then. That certainly exists. Matter plastics are used to make all sorts of funky stuff. Rocketry launch tower, rocket seats, rocket fuel tanks, rocket thrusters... A rocket guidance computer along with computation matrices, or matrices. Space gear, rocket assembling machine, oxygen vents. This is not Galacticraft. This is advanced rocketry. A different thing. A very different thing, but very handy, nonetheless. And a rocket linking device. Hmm. Okay. Um, Advanced Rocketry is a mod similar to Galacticraft, but it's got some very key differences which make it uh, unique. Very handy. I do prefer it over uh, Galacticraft, mostly because you can actually have a, uh, a space station that doesn't require you to wear any suit. Whereas Galacticraft nowadays has like, oh, now there's radiation and you're gonna die of radiation poisoning and all that. Because space. Space is not a kind mistress. What was I up to again? Right, I was uh, setting up the uh, the lava collection. Something we kind of badly need. 
Have fun using ladders. Okay, then. I will do my best to not uh, jump. We shall use many ladders. Our legs have been devastated. Uh, thanks to that fall. And now we must uh, only run around normally. Uh, and use step ladders. And because we must. This is just a fact. We must do it. And thus it was. Collect some copper. Good. That's something we need. Plenty of something we need. Thankfully, our uh, our base is more or less flat. Fairly flat, actually. As for food. What can we do with the skillet? We can't bake wheat dough in it. I know that much. I've tried. But we could still do some stuff with it. The question is what? And how? And why? Uh, let's see. We should probably start moving this over. Yeah. There we go. Nice and functional. Excuse me, just had to sneeze. Some windows to help out. Uh, I should probably... No, right, that's for that. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. So I'm thinking. Hmm. If we were to set up a pump here, that would theoretically allow us to get that running. Wrong way, though. And also not ideal. So if we were to do that, we could funnel this over. Doing the suck? I don't know if it's doing the suck. I don't think it's doing the suck. Sadly. So what we can do is we can use a, uh, a gear shift in order to make that work properly. Plus that'll add some future proofing to it. I don't care about the wheat seeds. Alright. Gear shifts are pretty easy. We just haven't made them in a while. So we can just throw that together. Uh, that's a clutch. That's a gear shift. We also need a, uh, a, la uh, not a ladder, a lever, a stick on a uh, chunk of rock. And that should do it just fine. Hmm. Set up our little cog, set up our gear shift so that we got that running. Okay. There we go. Maybe if I... Not quite. Move that so it's like this. Okay, there we go. I have selected to ban. Well, that is the plan, yes. Being creative is part of it, right? Hmm. We still need to acquire this. I think we need to set up a pipe like this. Set down a mechanical pump. And we're going to need some way of dealing with this. Um, the best way I can think of is to set up a gearbox and then a couple of cogs. 
It seems like the best way that we can do it. Thankfully, our farm is pretty uh, flat and flush with the ground, so we can easily move around it. It is a uh, solid way of dealing with it. <laughs> Gotta admit. Okay, so. Where is it? Uh, in order to do this, we're going to need a andesite. Which we already have uh, collected out in the uh, metals chest, so that shouldn't be too hard to do. Mm -hmm. You present me with the challenge, Void Region? I'm going to try to do that challenge to the best of my ability, you know? You gotta make sure I do it. Um, Gearbox is just a bunch of gears plus a uh, andesite casing. That should do it. Yeah, yeah, this should work. I just need to get over there and uh, set up our little uh, pump. Our pumping operation. I'm watching you, Axel. I'm glad. You're welcome to watch as much as you like. You better not jump. Freaking OSHA. There we go. Wrong way. Okay. Hmm. We need a gear shift again. It just won't uh, spin in the right direction, will it? All this for a little bit of lava pumping. And uh, to be quite uh, blunt, uh, the other ones that I've done are uh, a lot more complicated. <laughs> A lot more, uh, funky, let's call it. Oh, traitor. Nobody likes the traitor. Probably because he'd turn on you uh, on a dime, you know? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Set this up. So that it reverses the spin. Allows us to pull off this. Yeah, I see the lava. It's not very good yet. Maybe. <laughs> Behold the witchcraft. I'm hoping the lava makes it all the way. It looks like it gets a little bit of a boost once it hits that second pump. Rude. And that's starting to feel good. And then we have a decent supply of magma. We should be set for that. At least for a little while. This molten magma. Will allow us to uh, start supplying our various uh, devices a little more effectively. Now we're going to do that. That's another matter entirely. But it's doable. I think we're probably going to have to build some sort of like uh, pipe works underneath. At least somewhat. Yeah, hi spider. We're gonna have to do some alloying as well. Alloying is a little bit uh, obnoxious. See, in this case, we need to make a mixer uh, to mix up the liquid uh, bronze and liquid copper and zinc in order to make brass. An interdimensional liquid pipe. Well, that's what applied energistics is for, but we can't make that. The question is how. Ender tanks also work. Uh, ender tanks um, are basically, they're not pipes, but they are basically interdimensional liquid tanks. What you do is you um, give them a code, in this case something like white, 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 or orange, red, red, or orange, green, red, or whatever. Um, and they will share their liquid storage with every other tank of that uh, code. So, 
All I have to do is keep them loaded, and they will just allow you to tap into it. That being said, the Nether is not exactly well known for good sources of rotation. There are ways, but... Good luck. You're gonna need a lot of fans. Hmm. Looks like we're tapping pretty well into that. Okay. Next challenge. Bringing this lava to each and every seared fuel tank. Those tanks are going to require us to actually get quite a bit of material. A solid amount, really. Enough to make us regret this. Hmm. We're also going to require some way of actually collecting the, uh resulting liquid and uh, pouring it into something usable. I'm thinking we're just going to pour it directly into some spouts overhead. That could help. We don't really have the way or the means to use all of that yet, but that is something. Iron for days. Known in the business as the iron generator, you will now be creating metal from cobblestone. Start with some drills hooked up to regenerating co cobblestone blocks. I already got that. We don't need to worry about that. Dechunkify. The cobblestone first needs to be milled down to gravel. That can be arranged. I think that's going to be our uh, project for now before we actually get the foundry fully running. Don't get me wrong, I want to get the um, lava to feed into it, but... Is it worthwhile right now? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's worthwhile to actually go ahead and uh, set up that uh, pipe w uh, works. We're gonna need it to be down here, though. Mostly because that's the easiest to tap into and, you know. Then we can just uh, put it to multiple uh, destinations. Here we go. I am very prepared with the ladders. Naturally. You think I wouldn't? That's just ridiculous. Here we go. We're gonna need another shovel. Ours broke, sadly. This way we can properly set this up. Not like that. We only really need to supply to one so far. But that's all we really need. <laughs> I have jumped, and thus I have performed sacrilege. He's in jumping, he's in leg muscles. Yep. I pressed space on accident. It happens. My apologies. <laughs> ah, we went as long as we could. It was a good run. I'm gonna delete the save now. <laughs> uh, we need to set up a... Hmm. If I remember correctly, we got a path leading here. If we were to set up that, yeah, that could work. I have indeed sinned. It happens. Everyone sins sometimes, right? Some cogs. Some cog champs, if you will. <laughs> yeah, there's this. If we were to build a gearbox, that would be not great. Thankfully, we don't have to. Hey. Yep. 
We need a belt. And a gearbox. That should allow us to build the various parts. Yeah, that should work. A belt. Some various bits and bobs. Fair enough. My appreciation. Seal that in because we don't need any more. We need one gear belt. Not gear belt. Gear box and one belt. There we go. Therefore the challenge goes on. Very well. If you wish, I will continue to not jump. We shall remain firmly planted on the ground. We need a vertical gearbox. Hmm. There's an odd number of gears that would be required here. So if we were to... Because I, whatever I do, I don't want this to interfere with this spin there. So something like this should do it. Yep, it's starting to flow. We don't need a particularly fast flow, we just need a flow, period. There we go. This should start a fill in. Soon. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> we no longer have to go down for lava. It's not a particularly fast flow, but it is a functional flow, and that's all that really matters. Because, I mean, what would we do with a fast flow of lava? It's, it's excessive. It's not needed. Lava is flowing free. That's good. That's still running. I have to wonder if we've hit... It's still rising. Okay. Good. I have to wonder if we've hit a um, lava tunnel rather than a proper lake, but... You know, we'll work with it. Whatever we get, we'll work with it. If we need to, we can always change where we uh, draw lava from. Just to a new uh, supply. But that should be fine for now. Okay. Next project. We're going to be working with a uh, large quantity of uh, gravel. You see, gravel is a very important thing. Gravel allows us to generate a few uh, resources. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make make raked gravel. We're gonna make gravel. Now we can make it through crushing, or we can mill it. There really isn't a difference. Both perfectly fine. Sounds like something that would require jumping. Not quite. Now we can make some gravel from that too. That's not bad. So we make gravel out of cobblestone. Cool. What do we do with the gravel next? Next, we take this gravel and we give it a good scrubbing. This scrubbing will give us a chance of either producing iron, very low, but still exists, or flint, a little higher, but eh, yeah. Crusher, crusher. <laughs> Under crusher. We can also just grind it down to flint, which uh, not what I was wanting to make, but okay, I guess we got some flint. I don't know what the hell to do with this flint. Kind of just exists. But we'll figure something out. Hmm. Flint. 
plus sand plus lava equals rock. Or we can make plates and parts. That is also an option. Fire starter. <laughs> okay, then fire primer. Can create fire on usage or increases the area of fire on the tool. Okay, then. That's certainly something. <laughs> Bucketing. It can pick up liquid or place it when crouching. <laughs> dual wield. Uh, can attack from the offhand, provided the main hand can also dual wield. Tools of dual wielding have reduced stats. Okay. Gilded trades and ability slot for two upgrade slots. More nice things when mining or killing mobs. Place glow balls, consuming durability. Gives you more nice things when mining or killing mobs. Tools can make paths. Melts attack to abilities and items dropped. Huh. Weird. Huh. Tilling, unbreakable. Takes no no longer takes damage from normal usage. Good to know. Gives more ability slots. Uh over additional upgrade to live in harmony with the rest. Consumes over slime instead of durability until it runs out, not friendly towards tools lacking slime. Okay. Assess this tool ahead by one upgrade. I don't get what that's about. Respawns one of this tool's upgrade slots. Tool glows with an, with an enchanted glint. More words, more upgrade. Only logical. Uh, crude version of netherite, granting me to do external damage like fire, but no additional strength. Bonus damage to sea creatures, uh, good against spiders, creepers, and other creepy crawly hissing things. Increased durability and stats. <laughs> Deals bonus damage to fire-based creatures, uh, Ildris hate it, increases durability. Bonus experience, increases the area of fire. Ignites targets. Speeds it up. Launches things, uh, hitting things attracts nearby items, uh, makes the tool a little stronger and immune to external damage, hitting enemies drains the life to heal you. God damn, that's a lot. Disables the tool's interaction abilities when the offhand is, off is filled. Disables its interaction abilities entirely. No handed. <laughs> Hmm. Reduces the knockback of the tool to stop your enemies from escaping. Bonus damage which attacks the members. Dear god, that's a lot of stuff. Tired and want to sleep? Well, fair enough. Thank you very much for stopping by, Boy Region. I hope you have a good night. Much sharper, dealing much more damage. Uh, severing potentially blast heads or other parts of mo uh, mobs right off. Okay. Sharp, smite, sticky, soulbound. Cool. Tank. Has a fluid tank allowing it to store liquid. That's certainly something. Alright. So we need a way to wash. We're gonna need a way to deal with all this cobblestone. Now the question is, how? How do we do that? This is capturing stuff, right? Yeah, it is capturing stuff. Okay, um, andesite's already being processed, so we don't really need to worry about that. Cobblestone. Uh, cobblestone needs to be ground up and then washed, and that'll produce either iron or flint, or both. That's also possible. Um, hmm. That'll generate free iron pretty easily. That's not a problem. might also want to make a dedicated cobblestone generator just for this. But this can be arranged. 
We need a... First and foremost, we need a belt. Something to spin it. We already have plenty of belts around here, so that shouldn't be hard. Uh, we just need enough to actually get it to, you know, make a pathway. Nothing major, just enough. Actually, we don't even need a hopper. We can just, yeah, spin it. Uh, let's use a shaft here. This will provide us with a path here. Wrong way, though. Well, we're doing the usual, then. Yeah, like that. Okay, good. That'll work. That'll work. Spin that. We're going to need a... Device. Uh, not that. A gearbox, that's the term. Shouldn't take us too long to build these. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Some spin. Some strong spin, even. Spin. Uh, we're gonna need a fan box, and we're gonna need a grindstone. The grindstone, we don't really need to care all that much about. It's just a grindstone. It grinds. <laughs> Go figure. Um, as for the box itself, it's gonna need an andesite funnel so that we can actually feed it something. Grindstone. Hmm. Actually, it's called a millstone, sorry. Uh, how can we pull items from it? Process items by grinding them. Cool. It can be powered from the side using cogwheels. Cool. Throw or insert items at the top. <laughs> yep. A result can be obtained by a right click, or... You can andesite funnel them. Yeah, that works. So we're going to need to put it in from the top. That can be pretty easily arranged. All we need to do is just adjust the belt a bit. Because the belt just requires that we uh, toss it in. Which is pretty easy to do, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Plenty of uh, lovely, lovely belts. Easy to work with. Nice and smooth and rubbery. Nice and tight around the shafts. Spinning rapidly. Moving things fast, you see. You gotta go fast. You must go fast, even. Uh, we don't have another shaft. Okay, then. I'm definitely gonna need one of those. Didn't take us too long to get... Oh, dear God. Look at all that andesite. Okay, uh, that'll work. Yeah, we got shaft for days now. We can make the longest of shafts. Or shafts. Shafts? Um, we're also going to need, hmm, we need some way to gear down the, uh, belts. That isn't going to be too hard to do. This one, it doesn't matter, because we're just kind of eating them directly into the grindstone, so, I mean, who cares? Alright, so you need two andesite, a cog, a rock, and some planks. Yeah, that can be arranged. It doesn't care which way it spins, so I mean, we don't care. If it doesn't care, why should we? We have some stone on us, so we can just make it. There we go. <laughs> One millstone to rule them all. We're probably going to have to go around and uh, redecorate this place later on, but... Eh? Eh? Do we need to worry about that right now? Not really. Hmm. Hmm. 
We can do this by making a... I'm pretty sure we can do this. It's a little funky, I'll give it that, but it is functional. Enough so that we can make it work. It'll ruin our feng shui, but you know, it's something. A little bit more gear power, a little bit more speed, you know, a little more force. Ah, we got some decent torque on that. We're gonna need some sort of wall to hit it against, because it's gonna want to go flying. Like that. I'll let it grind up that pretty easily. Um, it's gonna eventually fill up, though. That's the problem. New. It's going to want to fill. That's the major problem. We're gonna need some way of uh, extracting that and uh, making use of it. It's starting to fill. It can't handle more. Of course, it's just gonna have to wait. That is making a decent quantity of gravel. Alright, next step. Uh, we're gonna need some way of spinning that. Mind. Actually, if I were to put this... Hold up. Up here. And then add a little bit more shaft. Shaft. There we go. Another shaft here. Grab this rock. Hmm. We could spit it out directly into a washing machine, which would then allow us to collect the results and put it directly into a press, which will allow us to compress it down into iron ingots and then spit out the result into a chest. That would allow us to get a decent quantity of rock uh, processed without much issue. Now how about red sand? Can we mill red sand? Yes, actually, we can. Which is interesting. Because that means then we can acquire a decent amount of both. Solid amount of both, actually. Okay. So we need to go... Hmm. We need another gearbox. Regrettably. We got a lot of boxes we need, don't we? Another gearbox so that we can spin that properly. Uh -huh. God, this is a lot. Um, spin up another box so that we can actually get the uh, the spin right. Oh, but I don't want that driving it. Is the problem. Because if I were to drive it off of that, that would result in uh, really quick movements, which means we'd need a longer um, fan. It's just not functional. So that's not an idea. But what if? Hmm. If 
about how long is this one? That'll give me a baseline about how much I should expect it to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tiles of path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Assuming that the funnel cannot be used. And actually, a little extra so that we can make full use of the uh, andesite funnels. So, allow this to work. Yeah. This could work. Now we need some way of making this happen. So we need... a cog. Something to spin, you know? Hmm. I need something that can carry... momentum. We're gonna put the box of the fan over here. That's just expected. Right along here. Hmm. We could set up a... Okay, I'm doing a bit of a think at the moment. Hmm. Because at the moment, I'm not too sure. I'm definitely going to have to gear down. It's just a question of how far. What extent. I think we can make full use of this to make a uh, belt leading all the way across to the fan. So we don't have to put in any effort in making that happen. Mm-hmm. Set up some of these. Gearbox. And another gearbox to make it so we can actually get to the fan. Okay, lots of work. <laughs> uh, one of these. Set up the fan, the little spinny ding. Make the device required. We need a right, we need a full on box for that. There we go. And we still need to make a single gearbox remaining. Yeah, this should work. One more gearbox to spin it. God, this is a lot of steps. <laughs> All for some infinite iron. I think it's worth it. One gearbox to spin it. Should help out quite a bit. The hell? Okay then, that's certainly a thing. You can extend it. Alright, theoretically this should spin just fine. Oh yeah, that reaches pretty much across the belt. Uh, we need some rocks, so we're gonna need a bit of the stone that we're using for iron. In order to make the requisite uh, devices. Mm -hmm. Let's just build this out. There we go. That should do it. I'll roast those before hitting this. 
And then we can pick them up so that we can actually use them. There we go. That should be all the uh, rock. Because why bother using, you know, coals? That's so pedestrian. <laughs> Weathered bricks, because they look nicer. I don't know, it's just something about them. They feel more interesting, you know? I just like them. I just think they're neat. And a bar and some water. That'll allow us to actually make use of the uh, washing machine technique. We're also going to need some more boxes, some drawers. But we should be fine otherwise. Look at that lava. <laughs> we are filled to the brim with it. We don't have to worry about it anytime soon. Right, bars. Need those. God. Well, we're running a little low on bars, but this should do the trick. We only really need one per fan machine, right? Yeah. Water machine. There we go. Washer created. Washer unit created, I guess, is a better way of putting it. It's so weird that you can just extend all the way to the end of the belt. <laughs> it's kind of silly, to be quite honest, but I like it a lot. Okay, so we're going to need some chests, or at least something to work with here. I think we're going to put them here and here. One is going to be for nuggets, one is going to be for flint. Flint? Who cares? It's flint. I mean, we'll collect it, but we're going to avoid it as soon as we can. Um, Iron nuggets, however. That's the vital one. That's the one that's important. That's the one that we care about. I'm a treasure. Uh, we're going to need the other fa uh, funnel for that. Fanel. There we go. All right. Uh, you'll be the nuggets so that we can make sure that we get them, and you'll be the flint because I don't actually care about it. It can rot for all I care. Now all we need is a distinctly slowed down rotation on this, which we're going to have to make some, uh, you know, gear shifts to make happen. Okay, good, these don't interrupt. Exactly what I need to see. <laughs> this should work like a goddamn charm. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. There we go. A little nicer. The rock washer. The rock washer 9000. Right, we're gonna have to gear shift a couple of times in order to make this work. Uh, so that means we're gonna need some large cogs and some small cogs. We already got some small cogs, we just need the large cogs now. Some, you know, spinny boys. I think we're doing good work so far. We're getting some decent progress. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to check to see if this works, though. You know, gotta make sure that it functions properly before making full use of it. I think two gear shifts will be plenty, give or take. That allows us to go down to the level of the belt and also allow us to, you know, reduce its speed quite a bit. We're gonna need to go... Little cog. Cool. Big cog. Little cog. Cog? A pair of little cogs. Just to get it back to a reasonable speed. A 
Okay, then. Uh, a shaft plus a belt should do just fine in this case. Cog, cog. Shaft. Because that reverse rotation. Let's see if this works. I'll travel the full length of it. Hmm. I kind of want to go through, uh, wanted to go through another gear transition. It doesn't feel like it's enough. Because I want to change before we hit the funnel. Shouldn't take us too long to set that up. It just needs a couple more large cogs, you know. Some more spinny boys. That'll be our driving rotor. Just to make sure that the shafts have something to work with. A little bit of force, you know. Uh, finally. Need a little bit more matter. And a side matter, to be specific. That should help out a little bit. I'm really glad we got our kinetic mechanisms uh, automated. It is very nice to have that. All things considered, it's very uh, efficient. Allows us to get uh, quite a bit of uh, bang for our buck. I'd say. Well worth it. Alright. Set up the cog wheel, there we go. Hello, Zomboy. Thank you for the duck. I'll take good care of said duck. In your absence. And this will slow it down to a point where it's guaranteed to be slow enough. Yeah, this will take a while for it to do its thing. <laughs> this will work perfectly. And there's the flint. It's going to produce more flint than anything else. Uh, we don't really care about the flint, though, so, I mean, deleting it isn't a problem. <laughs> Set up so it's basically just one gigantic unit. I do like my lines. I don't know why. It's just nice. It's satisfactory, you know? Hook this up so it doesn't have any chance of escaping the line. And this will allow us to have a path for this uh, Gabbro if we find a use for it. Because I don't really think I have a good use for Gabbro. I mean, you can blast it, but... Turn to Andesite, maybe? See your cobblestone? It's just not very good. I guess you can pulverize it? Yeah, that would work. They produce gravel and sand, so there's that. Anyways, we should be good to, uh... Start this going again. We can get that running and uh, properly have that happen. And do its thing, you know. Ooh, more buddy beans. Not bad. 
No, not bad at all. Let's throw together some food. A new pickaxe, because we kind of need it. Alright, so our next task. Uh, now that we have some automated production of uh, iron and other such materials that we don't really care about, uh, we should probably consider making the, uh, the foundry. Make it so that we can just toss in some ores and not give a crap. <laughs> Ideally. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. We need a supply of... What is it? Iron. Clearly. For hoppers. That way we can have it just dump off the uh, materials into them. Pretty easily. Right, I also need a uh, machine block. Something to build the required uh, materials with. This should do quite nicely. Throw together some of these. <laughs> There we go. Down here, we'll provide us with the andesites that we need. Uh, we still need to set up a... Oh, god damn it. There's a lot of steps to this. We also need a... I don't know, some sort of device to make it a little more efficient? To make the lumberjack a little more efficient, more functional, you know. As it stands, it's not very good at it. It's a funnel. Okay, then it's got wood for days. Never mind. It's fine. Yep, it's doing its thing. This will be fine. Start. The work. <laughs> that works nicely. Oh wait, is it just gonna hold on to it for a bit? It might. We're collecting the cobblestone pretty quickly. Hmm. Let's see how well this works. It could uh, end well. Or it'll basically just hold it right at the uh, edge of the millstone. Well, I'll be damned. That works perfectly, actually. We can reliably, uh, reliably just let it go. This ain't a problem anymore. Do a little bit of terraforming just to get rid of the uh, earth, because, you know, it's in the way. Come on. A little bit more stone is fine. Hey, we got some uh, iron nuggets going in. Uh, we're going to need a presser. Which will then allow it to collect the results pretty easily. Uh, anything else? Not really. Hmm. So we're gonna need a basin. We're gonna need a chunk of metal. Big enough to actually operate this. Yep. We don't really care all that much about the uh, speed of it. It's pretty slow. Right, I need a. Forgot I didn't have a pickaxe. Let me just quickly rectify that. A 
pickaxe and a shovel. There we go. Uh, next thing we need. Hmm. We're gonna need a chunk of, well not a chunk, a hopper. Something to, you know, move it into the uh, required space. And then we're gonna need a, uh, a way to make that spin. I think I see how when it's with a liberal use of belts. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yep. I should really have some sort of like uh, handheld crafting device. That way I could actually uh, handle everything pretty easily. Mm -hmm. There we go. And that'll run that. Uh, we just need to set it to a iron state, iron ingots. That will allow it to collect and run. Yes, this should work. Gravel's doing its work. We're out of cobblestone though. It's a real shame. So we're probably going to have to make our own iron collection. I really wish it was boostable, but sadly it ain't. <laughs> um, hmm. It could use its own cobble generator just to, like, generate large quantities of it, but... Yeah, it's going to require some work. How will we go about doing that, though? I mean, there's a few ideas that I've got. A simple moving contraption could do it pretty easily. Hmm. We could do that. We could also do a um, device of some sort. I don't really know. I mean, there's the uh, Tinker's Construct method, but that's, I mean, overkill. We don't really need to do that at the moment, do we? We don't even have the resources to do that. Hell, I wish we could do that. Sadly, that's not really an option. Roll for intelligence. A brown d6. Okay, then. We can throw dice. Huh. Okay, then. Roll d6. That's actually kind of funny. I like it. Well, we acquired it, so there's that. Not sure what the hell to do with this randomium, but we have it. Cursed thing. It deserves that for all of its uh, evil deeds. Alright, so next uh, thing that we're gonna need to do. We're gonna have to find a meteor, huh? That sounds like an exploratory thing, which is going to take a lot of work to find. We could make the compass, but that's a little limited. It's functional, though. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to make that compass. Oh god. Um, if we're gonna crush this ore. What we get out of it? We could turn it into dust, which will then get washed into two in you know two nuggets each. It's not great. It just ain't worth it. Hello, Cherry Bear. Welcome, welcome to Create Above and Beyond. How you doing? Yeah, you. There we go. There we go. Dealt with. We're not much in the way of explosive stuff, but we have it. I'm not sure what we would even do with this stuff. <laughs> Wait, we could make a cuckoo clock. Rainy Vancouver? Well, that's fun. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's not like the, the streets are rivers now, right? <laughs> Spring launcher, creeper charm fragments, which would protect us from getting attacked by creepers. Disruptive grenade. Radiant grenade. Go figure. Anything else that we can use it for? Eh. Fair enough. Redstone explosives creates a large area of redstone signal. Oh, so it's an EMP then. <laughs> I see. Tectonic is great for breaking earth and rocks. Uh, creates an area of redstone signal. Hmm. Gunpowder reagent. We can use apothecary. Okay then. It's not super useful. It exists, but it's not extremely useful. Uh, we're gonna have to charge this up and turn it into something. One Sirtis, one Nether, one Redstone. Okay. Hmm. So if Finamil, the recharger. Set up a little cycle to recharge. Any sort of quartz uses a catalyst in contraption 13.2. The charger from AE2 can be used here, along with the item transportation of choice. I'd prefer belts, personally, but hey, whatever. Um, hmm. Welcome to, uh, Axolotl Brain Frying Simulator, uh, 2020. I'm glad to have you. <laughs> Yeah, we got that done, so we don't really need to worry about that. It's been automated. You just grab a nugget and call it a day. There we go. Barrack traces. For a little bit of free iron. There we go. Bopped him. Okay, so... Hmm. We need that charged quartz to start up the cycle. At the same time, we're gonna have a rough time actually finding another one, and we're gonna have a rough time finding a meteor if we don't grab a compass. Huh. We could try hunting for one without a compass. That means that we'll have absolutely no directions, but we could find one, they're randomly spawned. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what the hell to do. Because on the one hand, yeah, I want the directions to the next meteor. On the other hand, that's only going to guide us to, like, one of them tops. Before having to go on a random direction to find a new one. And it's going to take a while to get that far away that we actually get new ones. Huh. Jesus, that's a lot of creepers in there. I'm thinking... Some direction is better than no direction, and we could find a charged quartz in there. If we don't, it means we explore. But at the moment... Oh, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna regret this so badly. But we have it. No, and I should probably dump off this thing, too. 
Meteor Finder. Hmm. Okay, next target. I've always got that second coating layer. <laughs> Painted quartz mixer. Freshly grown crystals will be treated to a nice energetic redesign. Sorry to all mineral <laughs> mineralogists. Mineralogists, sorry. Huh. Really, is that how that works? Yeah, that will work. Okay, then. That's kind of silly, but sure. Hmm. Alright, so that's the direction of our uh, meteor up here. Oh, I should probably make a... Um, a... Mining pickaxe. Because uh, Skystone is pretty tough. We're gonna need this. In order to make this properly worth our time. Because I don't want to waste your guys' time, so. Or at least not more than I already do. <laughs> this meteor compass will point to the lo uh, closest location of a meteor. It will always point that way. So, you know, gotta make sure. Um, if you get far enough away, it will locate the next closest meteor and then go to that. I don't know how the hell this works, but it does. So we should expect to see one sooner rather than later. A skewed. Huh. Thanks, the Court of Caves. I appreciate the pot. I think. Ah, uh, there's one. And now you can see it's spinning, that just means you're over top of it. Usually, you can see it by then, but some of them are underground, so you gotta be careful about that. Hmm. It's not the best place to dig up some rock, but it is something. We're also gonna have to tap into the actual core of this thing ourselves. Because, uh, this thing has a hidden chest inside of it that we're gonna need. This chest contains a variety of useful things. Primarily, inscriber presses, which are going to be very useful in the later games, or later stages, where we can actually make use of them to make uh, you know, useful stuff. I know, descriptive. But really, that's the best way I can put it. That was a disappointing find, but okay. We'll take it. We shall accept this. So we're gonna need a way to... Okay. So, milling. It produces... A, skystone, and B, skystone dust. Skystone dust can be mixed in with some water. Produce volatile sky solution. <laughs> Which also makes hepatizen, whatever the heck that is. Um, if we add that to a mixer and spin up some uh, Certus Quartz, we get destabilized redstone, assuming this is charged when it goes in. Which is why I needed the Certus Quartz charged. And you, you get what I mean. You get it. This destabilized redstone can then be added into a variety of things, mostly uh, making printed uh, processors for applied energy sticks. Um, it can also be poured onto various things. But more importantly, we're going to be using it to add onto pure quartz and uh, making that sort of stuff. It's helpful. It's vital. For our progress, at least. <laughs> We're gonna have to hunt down some Certus Quartz. Oh god, uh, this is gonna suck, but here here we go. Hey, here we go. Um, We're also going to be needing a... 
interesting device. We're gonna need some way of basically cycling that, and we're going to need a we're gonna need a way to cycle the um, skystone block back every single time, and we're going to need a way to cycle the um, what is it called? Right, the service courts back into a charger and out of a charger. We're going to need to do that. That's going to take some work, but it can be done. It can be arranged. A little bit more iron. Uh, yeah. Just enough to quench that and fill it up completely. Guess we can put a decor of pot somewhere. Sure. Now, how we're going to do that is a totally different matter. I have no freaking clue, but I guess we could use a, uh, a drawer for that. It is functional. Um, What else could we use? There's a few options I can think of. Uh, Andesite funnel it into a drawer that's locked to skystone blocks. That would allow it to pull the stone block off of the line. And then we can cycle it back around on a, um, on a belt. And then feed it directly back in. Um, alternatively, can we make... We can make a content observer. Oh, but that requires the precision mechanisms, and I'm not gonna be doing that for a little bit. Because the content observer allows you to basically um, scan your belts for specific items, and when they see that item, they will send out a redstone pulse. So you could just put like a, pist a piston on top. That piston will then shove that item off onto another belt or whatever. That sort of thing. Very handy. Very nasty, too. It's a little, you know, weird. I don't really need the encased smooth planks at the moment. They've already done their work. here. That'll allow it to automatically uh, spit its iron nuggets out into here. Easy peasy. Anything else that I can do while I'm here? Not really. Looks like the trader is a little bit stuck. Uh -huh. Thankfully, I don't care about the trader, so, you know, he can stay stuck. <laughs> Freaking emerald for some sugar cane. Although we do need some sugar cane, so I guess we'll take his deal on that so we can actually start uh, processing it. We don't have any emeralds, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so, grindy grindy. How are we gonna grind it up? Crush it into a fine powder and generate free powder out of it. I think we're gonna wanna make a dedicated um, factory for this somewhere. We're gonna need it. Um, in order to have it do its work, it should probably be its own little facility. Gathering the uh, interesting materials, converting it, all that good stuff. Um, hmm. A copper can of molten iron. <laughs> okay, then. In order to make this work, we're going to need, A, a water supply. That can be arranged pretty easily. We already have one way of doing it. Um, quartz seeds. This piece of quartz is too small. With enough water, we might get somewhere. We're not too stoked about waiting hours on crystal growth. No kidding. You can set up water spouts to greatly accelerate the process. Needs more water. Let's keep spouting it. Finally, a fully grown crystal. Don't forget to send every second one back around for seed production. 
<laughs> no kidding. Um. Okay. So. Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to need to mill up some Certus Quartz. That will allow us to actually get a decent amount. Um, we're going to need some Seed Quartz here to kind of make a good loop around for charging up these uh, charged Quartz. Gotta? Gotta what? Ah, fair enough. Thank you very much for stopping by, Dr. Putum. I hope you have a good one. Thank you very much again. Hope you enjoy your Monster Hunter. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Water wouldn't be too hard to get. Because all we have to do is set up a, uh, uh, what's it called? Hose pulley, that's what it's called. Uh, accessing the river. That should be plenty of water to actually collect. Um, then we gotta pipe it over. Uh, we can get away with mostly just using hand-collected sand, at least for now. It ain't great, but, I mean, it's not perfect either way. Actually, no. We can't even begin to think about doing that before we get the service quartz that, uh, the charged quartz. Because we need to... Having the service quartz is nice and all. Don't get me wrong. It's just that... Wow, is it useless if I can't actually make it shiny. <laughs> it exists, and that's it. So we're going to have to go hunting for some glittery quartz. We're going to have to remain below 30, de uh, 30 Y value. 30 degrees. Oh no, we're definitely not below 30 degrees. How is our lava contraption here? Our lava collecting contraption, I should say. Doing good? Doing great. Not seeing any suckage from here, so it's either deep enough that we don't have to worry about it, or it's so big that we're probably fine for now. For quite a while. We are still going to collect some service quartz, just because, I mean, the starter seed quartz is always a good idea. It's certainly something. Wise to collect. Yeah, hello, zombie. That's nice. Appetite and spades. Oh, for God's sakes. I should probably consider making a Tinker's Construct uh, tool set. Because Tinker's uh, Construct allows you to make some, frankly, overpowered devices and weapons. It's well worth the investment, i just kind of been lazy about it, because you have to make the cast for it, and I don't really want to do that. The standard Certus. The standard Certai. Your stuff. Is any of this charged? No. Why would it be? Huh. Oh, great, you. Um... The moment we get that charged Surus Quartz is the moment we can... Okay. Is the moment we can get out of here and, uh, properly start working on our devices. Because that's all I'm down here for. That charged Quartz was, uh, valuable. Vital, even. Huh. <sighs> Not having it anymore is a unfortunate thing. Plain Certus, plain Certai. <laughs> Anything back here? No, not really. Now we'll be able to tell the difference between uh, standard Certai and uh, charged Certai by the glow given off by charged. It's a very shiny, uh, crystal. It makes it a little bit more visible, but it's still not perfect. 
it won't do everything to show itself off to us. Oh, this is where we're pulling from. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> the shores are receding. Or the uh, lava is receding as the shores expand. Forming a lovely basalt beach. A spicy basalt beach, but still lovely nonetheless. That's a lot of zombies coming down from there. Why? Stella Arcanum that we can work on trying to get the uh oh, Jesus, nope. <sighs> okay, this is gonna explode as well. As said, it'll explode. <laughs> um We're going to need a bit of a stockpile, honestly. Because what we can do with these is make a uh, infinite uh, durability tool. Which will be incredibly helpful. There's no charge sort out here. Okay, well, we're not getting any Sirtis Quartz here. Let's uh, make our way up here. Maybe we can find something up here. Mobs, regular Surdai. Not seeing charged. Things glowing. What about up here? Nope, no charge Surdai. God damn it. Back off. Okay. Where else can we find some charged Surdai? I guess we can check over here, right? I haven't really been this way much. Some appetite, but it's not super useful. Nice, but not useful. And I think we might have to make a uh, proper, like, grinder going all the way down. Chewing through terrain, basically. It could be done pretty easily. It just takes a little bit of a uh, finagling and a uh, large cost to our pocket, but it could be done with enough piston extension poles, enough speed. We could chew through the earth and uh, acquire a decent amount of material in the process. Hmm. Plus we could use the cobblestone in our iron generator to make a little bit of profit every time as well. That might be an idea actually. If we were to... Would it be worth it to set this up right now? That's the question I'm asking myself. Would it be worthwhile to set up a drill that goes from sea level to bedrock? And I'm not sure. Because if we did that, we could start devouring entire chunks of the earth without much issue. It would take a little bit of time, to be fair. But it wouldn't be hard. Hmm. My brain is not immediately coming up with the answer no. Which is telling me that maybe I should. <laughs> Especially since once we have the uh, parts for a uh, world eater type machine. We just have it. And we can shift it around as needed. Without much in the way stopping us. Are those charged? It could be charged. Could be a zappy ore. No, it's not a zappy ore. Well, you know, I was hoping. The main thing I'd be worried about is magma pools, but that could be saddled with a little bit of water. 
That worry would be dealt with. Hmm. You know, I'm not against this idea. We could also turf it over with a bunch of, uh, dirt and grass. I guess dirt would become grass. You get, you get what I mean. So it wouldn't be hard to set up something to deal with that. Hmm. You know? I think that's our project. Making the world eater. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We'd have to place it outside of our claim. To be fair. Because we couldn't uh, risk devouring our own devices. But. There is quite a lot of land outside of our claim. And it's not exactly hard to tear into the terrain. All we need is enough range on a shaft and we're good. Yeah, it's nice. A boom! We could also use the lava flows that are exposed in the process as a uh, sort of hey, there's an item here that we can use. Or a resource here that we can uh, use and abuse. <laughs> There is always that. So we're going to need a seed of some sort. Something to start with. Something to build off of. Something to expand on. I'm thinking all we really need is a 2x1. Two a 2x2 two two would be ideal because then we could catch some uh, resource. We could catch a decent amount of resources in that sort of uh, range. If we were to make it that size, we could fit two chests and a portable inventory storage accessor, but that's not a huge deal. We'd be ideally collecting everything we need. What size chest can we make? Only standard, sadly. <laughs> Ender chests. Skystone block chests, I think, are standard. Perfect body seal. Hmm. Okay. So what do we need for a drill? Let's let's do this. Let's entertain this. We're gonna make a two by two. Big enough so that we have a solid sized chest access to the machine and still a, a little bit more space. We're going to need four drills. Four drills is not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy to deal with, actually. <laughs> uh, this is going to end well. Uh, two by two, that means we need eight plates. Oh god, we're going to need some iron. And some nuggets, for that matter. Decent amount of both, actually. Um, we have the iron plating to clad this thing. We need the lead. I don't know why it has lead in the center, but sure. I guess for, like, hefts or something? Give it a, a bit more force from the uh, sheer weight of the thing hitting it. I don't really know. Either way, we're going to be able to access that pretty easily. We already know where some is. After all. It does not take much effort to claim this stuff. Give me your crushed lead. Your wine sweeteners. Yep. That isn't enough, but it will be a good start. 
Any more lead? Where are you, lead? Give me that good stuff. More Certus with which to seed our uh, operation on. Because if we can't find a uh, charged quartz, then I mean we can't really even start the operation. <laughs> so we might as well go on an escapade in making something horrifying. With a leaden heart, we tread into uncharted territory. Any lead. Let's just prepare this for uh, getting back out of here. Just so that we have something. Ah, some lead. It seems to like to live around here. That is loud as hell. <laughs> also crunchy, unfortunately. I still don't know why it's crunchy. It just, it just is. I kind of have to accept that, unfortunately. My apologies. It's on the. Uh, it seems to be on the uh, sound alert side. So, level up. Okay. A little bit more iron to, you know, cushion the blow that this is going to do to our resources. We're going to need at least two iron ingots to actually provide the tips. And then we're going to need those chests. And some, you know, something solid looking. Because I don't want it to look like some sort of, like, wooden rickety contraption. Do you? I don't think so. I don't want that. I don't think you would. <laughs> you know, gotta make it look nice and functional. Properly durable, able to punch through the earth. So I'm thinking either iron, once we get enough, or stone. Because Lord knows we're gonna get a lot of iron out of this once we get to the, <laughs> the chonker sizes. Because I am not going to go ahead and just keep the blocks in places where they've already dug. That seems like a waste of uh, space. A waste of uh, resources. We're going to be expanding it steadily out and out and out. We're going to be uh, making it stronger by expanding on it. Not leaving drills in ineffectual places. We need a strong drill. We need every part of the drill drilling. If it ain't drilling, it ain't worth it. Maximize drill. Oh, hey, aluminum. Sorry, luminous. Different, apparently. <laughs> now, how are we going to actually make this run? Well, there's a couple of ways I can think of. We could either provide it its own power source, which would give us the strongest drill we could get and allow us to gear shift it up to helm back. We could. Connect it directly to the grid that we already have. Which isn't as good, because we can't really gear shift it up to uh, ungodly speeds. But we could still gear shift it up quite a bit. Hmm. There's a few options. That being said, none of them matter until we actually get to the point where we can actually use them. I'm thinking we're probably going to be using... Okay, then. It's just some random zombie here. Cool beans. Ow. Dude. Okay, then I guess it's just spitting. We'll leave it to its thing. I don't know why the hell it's just spitting randomly. No, oh, granite's full. Cool. Well, that's a shame. Straight into the fires. Um. 
bonus, Stellarite. Stellarite requires two emeralds, ex-petrified orbs, and a few other things. Ex-petrified is pretty solid. It's not hard to get lots of. Assuming you don't use them, you know. <laughs> I do like the D6, it's kind of funny. Is there any other dice that we can use? No, it's just a bunch of D6s. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for something a little more fun, like a D20. D6s are nice, but D20s are better. I wonder how our fields are doing. <laughs> our lava supply is going just fine. Fields are producing buddy beans in decent quantities. Shredded buddy card. Bacon, sugar, buddy beans. The best way to shred it is probably by crushing. End set, big set, another set, create set. Really? Armor's Delight, Buddy Card Boosters. Mystery Set. All sets contains nine buddy cards. Aquaculture. Buddy Metals. Shredded Buddy Cards. Alright. If you're wondering what the hell Buddy Cards are, they're utterly irrelevant. They're collectibles. <laughs> That's all they are. Think like baseball cards, but in Minecraft, because why not? Allow me to illustrate. Wheat, loved by bakers, by all bakers around. A shiny aqua, don't listen to his sister, he's pretty too. Knight, fire into lasers. Dr. Lazuli, one of the most useless doctors. Yeah, it's collectibles. Some of them are shiny, some of them aren't. They exist. That's nice. Hey, leather. That's nice. That llama up here is a little stuck. Let's help it. There we go. A little stockpile of leather ne uh, never hurt anybody who didn't supply the leather, so... Why not? It seems... We're a bit low on andesite generation. We might have to kick that up a bit. I will be doing a little bit of uh, work in the background, just like uh, upgrading things and making it so they run a little smoother. I'll leave most of the uh, actual like creation stuff of making new contraptions um, for streams. That way, you know, we got something to do pretty much all the time. Although, god damn it, I wish I found that... I wish I remembered that that meteor was there. Because it would have been really nice to have that uh, sort of Squartz right now. We could focus on that rather than just uh, mass extraction of material. Okay, so we're going to have to make some sort of scaffolding below. I'm thinking what we can do is we can set up a, like, uh, under... We're going to set up a platform above, which the uh, access to the top of it is going to sit on. Or actually, we can just make it a gigantic frickin' hole in the earth. There's something we said about gigantic frickin' holes that uh, exist for aesthetic-wise. It ain't the prettiest, but it is a pretty nice uh, look. <laughs> Lead. Delicious lead. Now we just need some nuggets. Nuggets of wisdom. We are steadily um, collecting a decent amount of uh, material, iron. Um. Now we're definitely gonna have to. I'm definitely gonna make a um an. A cobblestone generator up here for the, um, 
the collection of gravel. So we can actually generate that and, you know, spit it out pretty quickly. At decent clips. That way we can gather a decent amount of it. Um, I'm wondering, though... I guess what we could just do is set up, like, a drill. How does the drill work as a locked-in place? Okay, so I could just put up, like, a, uh, a drill over top of a hopper with some uh, water and lava. And that'll run just fine for running a cobblestone generator on top of that. Or hell, just even place it, so it drops immediately onto the grinder. That'll work. Drill heads in place. Gonna need some more of these. Well, that's annoying, but okay. Let's see about actually getting some chassis. Because we're gonna need one to... We're gonna need four to make the actual drills. That's just a flat-out statement, obviously. We're going to need a... Uh, we're gonna need one for the head of it. Uh, and a site. For the piston, to be specific. Um... We're gonna need some for other things, though. I'm not sure what to do with that, though. Hmm. Let's build the chassis of it, because we're gonna need it. So we might as well. <laughs> Dump all those in so they get roasted. I'm glad to see that we got through our backlog of, uh, material. Our material andesite backlog is, uh, nicely handled. Although I did like it when it was literally just the yeeting, uh, andesite directly into the basin. It's not as efficient. Way more whimsical, though. I gotta admit. Uh, okay, so. Drills. Drills are pretty easy to build. There we go. Drills. We're going to be setting them just at the edge of our area. I'm thinking this will be our little uh, drilling area. We cleared it. Now we're going to uh, clear it of anything. We cleared it of, uh, you know, random trees and such. Now we're going to clear it of everything. This is a claim. That's our drill head. Right there. Not a very fancy one, admittedly, but it is a functional one. Set up. Right, we need a uh, glue. And we're using some new tiling. So you know it's good. <laughs> uh, set up some glue there so we can place a chest on top. Uh, we're going to need a plunger. So we need a mechanical bearing, not a mechanical bearing, a mechanical piston. Okay, we need piston extension poles, we're gonna need a lot of them. Some wood and some cogs. Wood, cogs. And mechanical piston, go burr. <laughs> uh, throw a sticky... St Lab of something on top of it. Now it's a sticky mechanical piston and can yank it back. Sticky son of a... Okay, uh, we can line it up so that we get the power going this way. Alternatively, get some spin going. 
This'll do. We'll have it as like a uh, power substation. I guess not really a substation, is it? Yeah, close enough. Uh, and a site. We got the casings on hand. We're gonna need a gear shift. Because we need to make it so it can be uh, retracted as needed. And we're gonna need a uh, gearbox so we can actually pull in the uh, power pretty easily. And a site. Shafts. Some belts. You know, pieces and, and parts. Except this. Run it along so we can see exactly how we're going to want to be day so we can actually get a uh, perfect reading on how far we can go with this. It is way cheaper to just use infinite belts. Infinite belts, if you will. <laughs> May the belts mesh in your favor. Okay, so we can go 20 blocks of this. That's nice, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. Hmm. Eh, yeah, okay, we'll just add another chunk on top of it. It'll be fine. Ah, that's a lot of belts. Going very fast. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's just going. Very handy. <laughs> there we go. Set that to spin. Stop that from going, there we go. Set up a gear shift so we can reverse it. And that should be good, I think. Now we just need the chests. The chests will allow us to actually extract the materials without losing the materials. I'm thinking... Uh, for the sake of likelihood, because I remember it being that... No, we'll just go for it. We're going to make two chests. Hopefully we collect everything. I don't honestly know. We're going to spend its maiden voyage probably riding it the way down. That way we can get an idea of just, like, how well it works. If it properly functions. If it properly collects everything. That sort of thing. See how well it does. By giving it a, uh, <laughs> a ride down. Now, this is going to be a little janky at, at first, almost certainly. But it should still function. Oh, yeah, we need the right, we need to actually apply piston pulls to it. Um... All right, we'll start with a uh, starting collection. We're going to need at least... What Y level is that? It's sitting at... Y60... What's with the purple? And... It's at 66, so we need around 63 extension blocks on top of it. This is going to be a lot. Andesite, uh, we need six, eight, actually. Oh, that's a lot less than I was expecting. Why is it so cheap? Okay. 
an apple for the maiden voyage. You know, we gotta have something to commemorate the occasion. And that just happens to be an apple. <laughs> we should be able to make a full stack of 64, which will get us all the way down to the bottom and start grinding against bedrock, almost certainly. Lord knows bedrock doesn't like it. It should be plenty, theoretically. I hope. Set this up. Yeah, 64. Alright, there we go. That's everything I needed. Which means we should be about ready to take it on its maiden voyage. Uh, riding all the way down to the bottom of the earth. Lord knows we, did, we would need a lot more in order to make it work for a... Uh, well, a modern version of Minecraft. But, eh, we're not working with that, so, you know, whatever. How high can I get it to go? Pretty freaking high. Not high enough, though. And so we're going to need the gear shift to get it to go. It's not bad. It is good to know that we can always, on an emergency, just break the lever and have it come back up. And just smash it, and there we go. <laughs> we're in. As for the lever, easy peasy. There we go. Time to ride it. What could go wrong? Why would you go and make a bunch of minecarts that just automatically dig for you when you can just do this? Forgot to get those connected. Right. Um... Okay, so like this, stick these on. There we go. Oh, it's not dropping them. Oh, there was a hole. That's a very shallow cavern. Oh, it dug through something. Clearly an ore, because it took a while to actually chip through it. Think of it like taking a, a core sample. Yeah. We're taking a core sample. <laughs> yep, it's hit its limit. Let's uh, help it play within it. Beam me up, Scotty! <laughs> this is gonna be lethal, but you know what? I do not care. This is gonna hurt like hell, but we're gonna get a really nice view of the world around us. <laughs> Behold the nerd pillar. All fear. So I'm thinking we're gonna expand it out like, um... One this way and one this way every time. That way we only really have to add one drill at a time to get an effective edge. Oh, Jesus. It's a bit of a drop, ain't it? That looks really cool. That vat up there, the, uh, the kelp vat, looks really nice from up here. I like how that turned out. It looks like it's a proper cutting edge that's just sweeping around it. Anyway, time to die. Yeah. That's expected. <laughs> Crunch. Anyway. Behold the pillar. Now, I don't actually want it to turn into a solid... Place only in starting. Okay, that's fine. Dug up some coal. That's not bad. 
Plenty of cobblestone, so we can just feed it into the grinder. Uh, we don't really care about diorite. Nor dirt, but you know, we'll keep it for now. Alright. Core sample. Actually, hold on. Let's ride with it, see what we can find. Take me with you. I'm thinking a remote would help out a lot. Oh yeah, that is just a cavern there. Huh. Oh hey, iron. <laughs> Lots of iron, actually. Frickin' solid amount. Huh. Oh hey, some broken stones. Oh, I'm gonna regret writing this thing, aren't I? Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think this is working really well. It's a stupid little contraption, but it works. Oh, yeah, we hit a cave. Hey, randomium. Let's just tap that while we're waiting for this to ride down. A red sand cast. Cool. I think. I mean, I'll take it, don't get me wrong, but I'm just confused. Yeah, there's the lava. Oh, we've been here before. I know where this is. Is it gonna reach the bottom, though? That's nice, buddy. The power of pistons. Round shulker box. It looks like it hit rock bottom. We'll have to check. And that can be really easily checked by just lifting it out and looking down. <laughs> that works like a frickin' charm. Keeping in shape. Oh. <laughs> Jump a set amount of times. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so we should be seeing the, um, the surface soon. I think we're probably going to set up a uh, remote so that we can uh, automatically lift and lower the uh, platform as needed. But yeah, why would we ever mine by hand when we have that thing now? All we have to do is uh, periodically refine it and increase its uh, AoE. And we can just sort of rip through the world like it's nothing. There we go. The fact that the skeletons are suffering before they die is fine by me. They deserve it. <laughs> All right. Oh wow, it actually got further. Than yeah, it definitely hit bedrock. If it got further than the pole can support, then yeah, we hit bedrock. All right, so now we need to think about expanding on our pole. You know, polishing up the pole. Properly uh, making sure that the pole works. <laughs> Let's see what you have. A lot of junk. But, you know, junk is still useful. Junk can be uh, refined, repurposed, and given new life. And now that that has been, you know, properly handled, we don't have to worry as much. Let's see about uh, expanding our search area. We're basically just going, uh, search for anything underneath and they're just yanking it all up. Uh, we don't really need the silver, so, I mean, we'll... It exists. Huh. 
Huh, huge clover petals. That's nice. I don't know what the hell that's used for, but... <laughs> Water grass. Okay, so we need... Um... We need more drills. This can be arranged. Especially since we have the machines for it, so it's not even like it's very hard to do. So if these drills to be just automatic creations. I do want to automate the creation of these drills so we can actually properly um, <laughs> mass produce and uh, add on to it with pretty much no worries at all. Being able to mass produce these would be a godsend. <laughs> and this is our expanding stone, so we can actually expand upon it. You know, iterate. Send her down. Yeah, now we got a little bit more range, don't we? And we don't have to worry nearly as much. It'll chew through it, same as before, but it doesn't have to worry about the uh, bottom floor. Alright. I realize I forgot to actually dredge up the materials and sort them out, so we're going to have to go and grab those. Just right quick. Don't take us long. Oh god, this is going to hurt when it's like chunk sized. <laughs> It'll be functional, but oh god, trying to load that in every single time would be a pain. Don't care about andesite, do care about- or we do care about andesite, don't care about diorite. As for the appetite and the goal, eh. Appetite is useful in that it's a very nice stone to turn into fertilizer, but that's kind of it. That's really it. I guess we can use them for gem cast, but I mean, like, why? <laughs> Let's hope it pulls up a, a charged quartz this time around. It's just sort of chewing through... Yeah, that's what I thought. Why don't you come a little closer? Oh no, I'm hidden. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. Just gotta chop them a few times, then they'll get the lesson. Lesson is don't come to this area. God, how many ominous banners are we getting? We don't have a village nearby for them to raid, so I mean, like, it's not a problem. Uh, yeah, we'll splurge a little bit. We're in the process of uh, finding large, or rather excavating large quantities of material, so it's not really a big deal. I'm thinking we'll get it up to, like, chunk killer size. Yeah, expand it to the point where it's basically just eating chunks. It's still going down. Yeah, it's still going down. It's no longer going down. Okay, then. Excavate our treasures. Never know, could be useful. I'm thinking we could also make use of this giant pit. Later on, when we're getting to the point where it's basically just spaghetti going around in gigantic circles, we can use this uh, gigantic pit as a, uh, like, Omega Factory, the final factory. 
You know what I mean? Because it's a immense area. It's really just a matter of, like, fully expanding it out to the size where it can actually work. That's the problem. There we go. We are single-handedly filling up our uh, collection of <laughs> grinder material. That's fine. That'll supply us with a little extra material. At this point, I think we're mostly just going to be focusing on trying to uh, brute force find our required material. If we happen to find some other useful stuff, hey, that's good. <laughs> but at this point, we're mostly just ripping out chunks of the world in order to uh, feed it to our machine. Shouldn't uh, take too long to find something. Because all we need is one charged quartz, and then we can make a Fluix Quartz Crystal after going into the nether, but you know what I mean. We can get a decent amount of material. Alright, uh, we have no lead, actually. And that is a problem. And that can be ameliorated. Claim that chunk so we have an idea of where we are. Okay. So we're looking at this point. If we were to... That's me. That's me. Cool. Set up more glue so that it does its job. This is janky as hell, but god do I love it. <laughs> This'll do. Everything emptied. Everything's clear. Send her down. She'll do her job. Excellent, excellent. We're gonna need more glue soon, but you know, it's fine. You probably make that glue. So that I don't forget and have no iron to make it. Put that there, grab the ender slime. Make super glue. That's probably the first thing I'm gonna be making eternal. Making our super glue eternal is probably the best bet we got. Hmm. There appears to be a gigantic pit. Strange. I wonder how this happened. Who will know? Time will never tell. <laughs> uh, the ginormous hole. Oh, we got some solid amounts of iron nuggets. Or iron ingots. That's pretty good. I do appreciate that. The extra iron will prove very handy. Because we don't really need to work for it. And I'm thinking, now that we're building up such a large quantity of material... We can now start uh, considering making proper armor. Because now we don't really have to worry about iron. Iron will just be gotten, whether by ripping it out of the ground by, you know, drills going burr, or alternatively by those drills ripping out uh, the cobblestone and then converting that into iron. We're gonna have iron. We just are, it's not a problem. I think maybe I should make like a personal garden so we can make some proper meals, that might be nice. But, for the most part, I think we're doing pretty well. I do want to set up a cobble grinder on this thing. But in order for that, we're going to need more lead. A lot more lead. Um, okay, we're going to ride it the next time down. We're just going to ride it the, on the way down. That way I can go hunting for lead. Enter the pit. <laughs> the sheer scope of this thing. You can see, like, the uh, the walls and how it generates. It's nice. We are also collecting some spare andesite to help uh, fund our andesite production. Alright, you're no longer descending. Cool.
I don't need this. We already know this exists. <laughs> Hello. Interesting that there was a cavern just underneath the surface. Not bad. Not bad at all. Decent haul. Solid amounts of resources. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too shoddy. Alright. Uh, right, that's the pit. That was our original mining pit. Nice, but not necessary. Fill that in. Andesite can go in there. Diorite, who cares? It's diorite. Um, yeah, I really need to get a foundry. Something that can automatically uh, handle pretty much all of the ores that this thing draws up. Because if we could do that, then we could just have it so that it automatically deposits a bunch of items into a, uh, a chest. Ideally, a ender chest that uh, is linked to another ender chest over top of the foundry. That way we can efficiently have that thing uh, collect all the resources, throw them where they need to go, usually like rocks go here, ores go here, ores go here, all that sort of stuff, uh, and process them into usable uh, ingots and such. Into whatever we consider usable. We did get some free uh, copper, though. That's nice. Some zinc. Some coal. Not bad, not bad. Eventually we're just going to have a whole chunk as a freaking elevator. <laughs> Useful, if baffling? <laughs> yeah, that's all the chunklets. There we go. Some drills to jumpstart our production a bit further. Yeah, that's what I expected. Tragically, our glue ran out. We can't eat glue anymore. Not without uh, digging into a new t uh, tube. Alright. Send us to. No, hold on. That one ain't linked. Because I am dum dum. There we go. Now it's linked. Now we can go. Hmm. Wonderful. The sounds of progress. <laughs> Give me that zinc. Oh, Jesus. We cannot collect all the zinc before this goes on without us. Uh, we're going to have to give up on it for now. What are you chugging through? Okay, then. Iron. Give it to me. Thank you. It's chunking through something. I know that much. Something's hitting a vein of something a little tough. For it to chew. Ah, zinc ore. Yeah, that might make it. That might make it chug. Look at that. Delicious zinc. Ooh, copper. Partially oxidized. It's like a freaking mining spree while we uh, make our way down. Just acquiring all the stuff that wasn't touched. Because the drill just brushed past it. On its uh, way to carve a gigantic hole through. No, we actually just skimmed right by this. That's impressive. Ooh, nickel. Hell yeah, I'll take some nickel. I could use a nickel or two. Old. Random cave. Don't really know why. That's just Certus. Okay, it's not charged.
Gotcha. Okay, lead. Lead, lead, lead. Where are you, lead? Oh, lead. We're at the right level for it, give or take. All we need to do is find the stuff, and then we can, uh, get out of here. Pull up our uh, drill and uh, get it going again. <laughs> this drill was the best decision I've ever made. I wonder if it picked up any lead. It might have. I wouldn't know, though, sadly. It's kind of just grinding itself against the bedrock, sadly. Where are you, lead? It's a dynamic entry is what it is. <laughs> well, it's helping us to uh, excavate large quantities of the earth while also giving us a ride down. It's a very effic uh, efficient, efficient method of getting down here. Lead ore. 1 to 20, that explains it. Okay, that's some deep ore. So we are only just in the range of it. Okay. Cool. Expected around this level. That explains why it's hanging out around lava deposits. It's so deep, that's really the only place it'll ever spawn, so... Swap out to something more functional. I guess we could use our drill to rip out obsidian, can we? Just spray the uh, lava down with some water and then watch it go. That explains the sheer number of skeletons. There's a spawner. Oh, great. Some of them are spawning outside of the giant cage. We're gonna need some torches for that. Uh, we should probably carry some on the way down. That is enough lead to run one more drill. Not a lot, but it is something. A redwood door. Okay, I'm not sure what the hell to do with that, but we have a redwood door. Guess we can use this like a... Ow, a keen. Back out. Ease. <laughs> Not seeing any other lead at the moment, so I think we're just gonna have to call it a a wash on that, unfortunately. But that is a really nice upgrade to our uh, mining style. Our previous style was just go down, grab what we need, get out. Now it's ride a gigantic drill down into the ground like some sort of dwarf. And, uh come back up with a bunch of treasures as well as a bunch of rock that we just ripped out. Very efficient. <laughs> I have to wonder, in Deep Rock Galactic, do they actually make use of the ores that they punch through with the, uh, the drill rocket that they got? They have to, right? There's no way a dwarf would be satisfied with, oh man, the rocket's just gonna pulverize through a bunch of rocks, but eh, who cares? There's no goddamn way. They would absolutely make it so that the drill is itself a mining device. Oh, we got a lot of zinc, actually. That's a pretty good haul. Not bad, not bad! Dump our lead in there so it runs. And yank this thing back up. Jesus. I wonder how long until we hit the stress limit of this thing. Ooh, that's a good find. Okay, so this is an arcane crystal, a very useful device. 
Um, you can use it for Forbidden Arcanus for a lot of things, but one of the uses that is a little niche is you can smelt it up into dust and then sprinkle that dust inside of, uh, on, not inside of, onto farmland. Now you may be wondering why the hell would you do that? The, why would you sprinkle an ore like that onto farmland? Well, you see it increases the uh, fertility of that farmland. It's basically a low-level bone meal that just constantly goes. It's very effective at uh, being used for such things as a result. Now, if only I could apply it to trees, but eh, it's still something. If we get enough of it, we could theoretically um, make it so that our plant growth is just way better. And chewed through a bunch of other things too. Okay, good. That's certainly something. No charged Certus, though. I'm not going to find some service until, like, at the end of the stream, aren't I? Oh, maybe there's some diorite that got used or something. I don't know. On the other hand, we are making a lot of iron. And I do mean a lot of iron. For free. No cost. Not even, like, the cost of cooking. So. Take that how you will. That's nice, buddy. Yeah, we're definitely making some armor. We have been without armor for way too long. Now that we actually have a freaking wealth of iron, we don't have to care. I mean, it's nice to have spare armor, or spare iron, but we have so much iron, it's not a huge deal anymore. We can make a full set without any concern. Armor up. Properly, thickly armored. A solid sheet of metal between us and the world. <laughs> Shame we don't get any buffs from it, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Some lead to expand on our drills so we can further upgrade our production of random junk. Never know. Could be useful. I do really like the, uh, <laughs> the drill we got going, though. It's a little broken. Why automate when you can just mass produce? And in this case, there is a very slight and very important difference. It's not a huge difference, but it is a difference. Vital difference, even. Oh, we may even be able to make it so that it just sucks up a bunch of lava on the way. Oh, that's not good. Okay, back off. Nope, we need to be day. Now the reason why I was worried there is because it's not claimed. I don't want it breaking. <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm good without it breaking. And even when it is claimed, uh, crate has a current. I don't know if it's in this version, but there is a bug in one of the versions where even if a creeper would not be able to break a block, it will still break the um, the slime anyways, so it breaks connections. Basically just pinches the slime out of existence. Not good, in short. Yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. The bottom is probably absolutely covered in crud. Ah, well. Who cares? Alright, so that is the edge of the border. So we're gonna set it up like this. I would like to get it to the point where we have basically so many freaking drills that we just eat a chunk Every time we set this sucker up. We are sadly not there yet. I know, tragic, but... More not the, uh, the lost time tearing apart the world. We'll make up for it. 
Up, there we go. Uh, we need to dump off this trash, and then we can head back down to maybe search for some more lead. We could take a ride all the way to the bottom and see how that works out, but... Remote. Remote detonator, upside down hollow scaffolds. I don't know what the hell a hollow scaffold is. Dead hollow scaffold. Huh. Shattered hollow scaffold. Storage accessor. Naturally. In case you just can't go without storage. I guess we don't really need our meteor compass at the moment, so we can just leave that behind, and the name tag isn't very important either. Where is this? Okay, we're riding it all the way down this time. Straight to the bottom. Mmm. The sound of progress is very loud. Stone is much more subdued. It's over here, anyway. Oh, it's just a random hole. Like that. It exists, but that's about it. I want to claim the zinc because it's outside of the uh, purview of the machine. We might as well collect it while we're waiting. We have no food. This is a grave error on my part, but, you know, whatever. An oversight. A, uh, whoopsie doodle. Give me your zinc. Mmm, look at all that copper. <laughs> Very effective. Not efficient. Not yet. But we're making our way. Riding fast. Days has passed. We're rock bound. Huh. <laughs> huh. Um, the other thing I'm considering... We should probably... Think about making some sort of a uh, tram system. Now, how we'll do that is another matter. I have no freaking clue. I would like to make a tram system for our uh, base at some point, though. Whether it's when we get to the point where we're basically just refurbishing the entire thing somewhere else, or earlier than that, it would be nice. Have, like, a little stop at the surface, and then have it um, move around underneath. Ideally something a little... Ooh, that's close. A little, uh... Cozy, you know? Comfortable. After all, what are we, peasants? <laughs> We're not gonna sit in just some random lounge. Maybe have, like, a nice tea set or something? Some kegs? <laughs> I don't know, something classy. My lord demands some classy, uh, accommodations. Everything seems fine. No lead, though. That's the thing. At least we didn't see any lead. It means we can't expand on our freaking drill setup. Why is lead... Why is lead like frickin' diamonds? I don't get it. Oh, that's the cobblestone generator. Right. I'm thinking we're gonna rip out a chunk. Basically make it like some sort of load error. Yeah. I wish I could, uh, really focus on properly setting up the rest of it. But until we have that Surtis Quartz, I'm not gonna be able to focus on it. I'm gonna want to build all sorts of things. <laughs> I don't think it'll be too complicated to even set up, is the thing. That's the thing about it. Because, like, it's 
not the simplest device. It has to cycle things through a machine that is not create-based in order to charge it up so that it can actually uh, do the thing that we need to have it do and create. Oh wow, we're actually running a bit low on cobblestone. That's kind of surprising, honestly. <laughs> we should probably restore our uh, food, so there's that. Um, on top of that, we also have to... Oh yeah, because things keep uh, getting in. That's not ideal, but eh, we'll deal. At least for now. I don't know what the hell to do with bloody beans, but we got them. They're decent food. They are... Uh, they're acceptable for their gourmand dynamo. Speaking of dynamos, we're going to need one of those. Because the AE charger, or the Applied Energistics Charger, does not actually care about your filthy rotational power. It wants electricity. It desires static, basically. Oh, it hit a ruby. That's nice. All the shinies. All the dross that we don't care about. Eh. Those are some nice shinies. One to nine. Okay, I take it back. Lead is at a decently reasonable area. Never mind. One to nine. Jesus Christ. That is a decision. These expand upon our contraption so that we can perform some contractually shady techniques. Oh hey, that finally uh, refreshed, eh? Fair enough. Oh, that only applies, applies it to one side. That's a problem. I need to stick to a lot of things. And the reason why I'm not just applying these uh, little side uh, globs early is because then it will try to grab some at the... Well, theoretically, it will grab some at the bottom. Which is not what we want. So, you know, we're not going for that. Uh, dirt. Okay. Gravel we can just throw into the washer because we don't really care about gravel. It exists, but... Eh. I guess we can make some fighter bro. Set up a uh, semi-automation type deal. That is an option. Five iron ingots. Jesus. We are cycling ore from everywhere we can. Wow, that looks like it's doing pretty well. <laughs> Look at that chisel. Yeah, once we get to the point where we have enough uh, drills to properly devour the world in one go, we can just kind of pick it up and move it repeatedly. Because all we have to do is really just add another belt so that we can connect it directly up to the uh, grid. So far we've seen that, yeah, it's not causing too much problems. It's magenta, but I don't know what that means. I guess we could add like a stress meter on here. That is an option. I don't know how stress meters work. Demonic screeching. Hello, Semtexagon. How you doing? Welcome. We have built a, um... Well, it's not a chunk eater. It's a chunk nibbler. How you doing? Welcome to, uh... Create Above and Beyond. It's 5am and I can't sleep anymore. Well, damn. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Well, you're welcome to hang out with me, if you'd like. That is absolutely fine. I still have like an hour's worth of streaming in me, so there's that. Um, you got the engineer's goggles yet? No, but I could theoretically make them. We're currently uh, decked out in full iron. How much for the engineer's keepers? A single gold sheet, some string, and some stained glass. That's not too bad, actually. We can do that. Sure, we'll get some engineer's goggles. 
Because honestly, I'm kind of surprised that a single windmill has been keeping us going for this long. <laughs> Come on, overstress already. There we go. Uh, gold ingots. Throw that on. And let's go grab some sand. Uh, we've made it all the way up to... Well, we're trying to do the second age, but oh my god. Finding a freaking charged crystal is a pain. I was hoping it wouldn't be this painful because I spent one to make the meteor compass so we could actually find the sky stone. But no. No, it's pain. Have you played this mod pack? If I might ask. Yoink. Reset that so that all right, that'll drag me onto the saws, which I don't want. Uh, let's load these chunks because we can. That way it doesn't do that whole stopping thing and we have to reset it. There we go. Everything should be fine for the most part. Alrighty then. We do need to upgrade our cobblestone generator because right now we're running entirely off of the chunk nibbler's uh, output. But for the most part, we've been doing pretty well, I think. We haven't done super intense sorting yet just because we don't really have the capability. I love to be able to sort everything out into like everything I need, but we don't really have the capability, not very easily. At least, people don't get why Minecraft stone cutter doesn't hurt you. I know why, and that's because I work with rock polishing, cutting in the legs. Okay, by all means. Yeah. If you want to go into detail, I'll be happy to hear it. Uh, some shinies that I don't really care about. What the hell am I going to do with Arcane Guild of Darkstone? <laughs> It exists, but... Let's see, andesite can go here. I'll process just fine. Grab this arcane crystal and toss it in the chest, because holy hell, if we get enough to actually make that work, that'll be a real boon. Is it just because the stone cutter is designed for much harder things and thus can't really deal with fleshy stuff? Whereas with uh, a lumberjack, or not lumberjack, a uh, woodcutter, it's a lot more designed for less tough materials. It's more designed for shredding. It's not a saw blade per se, it's more like a round file edge disc that is designed to file away material rather than cutting. You can put a finger on a running disc without worry. Okay, so it's not so much that it uh, cuts, it's more like it just removes material in the shape of a cut. Am I getting that right? Practically, yes. Fair enough. Some fancy goggles, some fancy peepers. Stress of vision. God, I wish this could go on any other slot than the helmet. Damn it. <laughs> Impractically, though. That's the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The blade needs to be cooled with water, otherwise both the blade and the stone you're cutting can overheat. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt it, because it's filing away stuff, which means it's a bra it's a, it's an abrasion type deal. It's gonna be uh, doing a lot of rubbing. Okay. 8,192 stress units available at current speed. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. 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 
64, okay. And this is our little, uh, well. We had to put up a railing because somebody died when they fell down the hole. The saw is usually halfway dipped in a water cooling tank, whilst the cutting ha happens on the upper half of the disc. Ah, I see. So instead of relying on uh, air cooling, you're relying on, um, liquid. You're doing a liquid cool blade. Yeah, fair enough, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think. Should probably mark the other side of this thing so we know where to stop it at. That's why you see on the Minecraft it's only half the disc visible. I see. Interesting, interesting knowledge. I know Minecraft's trying to do a bit of a semi-realism kick at the moment. Where they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll try to reflect reality as best we can, but we're not going to be, like, perfectly realistic. We'll try our best, but that's all we can give. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go for, I guess, yeah, let's grab some sticks and make some torches and go for another lead run because we can't expand this uh chunk nibbler until we have that unfortunately for some reason crates drills are lead cord i don't know why i assume it has something to do with uh having a really dense uh heavy object to help with the auger or something it just is what it is Either way, what I do know is that Drill Go Burr. There we go. Yeah, there's no way in hell that this would work in real world. The force from it trying to go this way is just way too great. <laughs> it would absolutely want to swing this way. Grab the zinc while we're here. I don't care nearly as much about the coal. It's Minecraft, exactly. And this is the create dev, so you know. <laughs> Slightly different level of uh, realism expected. Ah, oh, I forgot to grab that iron. Tragic, but I mean it'll be picked up on a later journey. I'm sure. Oh, wow, that's just a freaking brass vein right there. Also got addicted to a new game. Well, by all means, go on. What game are you talking about? Ow. It's my face, thank you. Is that thing plotting? Nothing? Alright. Well, I'm fine with that. Hell let loose. Hard as balls, World War II simulator. I see. <laughs> Fair enough. Like an accurate World War II sim, or like a, uh, that's the general vibe it gives off. Well, this is our stop, so. down here. Any lead. It's like Battlefield, but more accurate. You die really often to one to two shots. Yeah, that's expected. Fair enough. Fair enough. Regular Certus. Not too useful. We're at Y level 18. We're not going to find a lot of lead here, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> you can't spot people easily and uh, like why is that is it just fog of war or something or is it just uh, by virtue of design like oh wow this character really blends in with the environment because they're wearing camo hmm like what type of hard to spot
And it doesn't contain lead, does it? Man, I want some lead to sweeten my drinks. As one of those that I talked to in the game said, if you got 10 kills and 30 deaths, it's a good round. <laughs> yeah. I see. That is a interesting endorsement. Fair enough. KD ratios are much harder to pull off. God. Despite being armored now, I still don't want to fight much. We can avoid combat, that's a uh, good thing. Tanks are operated by three people. You got the gunner, you got the spotter, you got the uh, op driver, not operator. Right? Driver, gunner, spotter, got it. Yeah. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the gunner is the person who actually has to operate, load, all that sort of stuff with the gun. Uh, Spire just gives uh, direction of where to shoot, and then, yeah. Of course, that is a full-time job, and you have to do math for that, but... Whereas the driver, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Where the hell is some lead? <laughs> Sadly, Minecraft Crate does not give access to tanks. Guns in the game are accurate with drop-off. Oof. So yeah, you're gonna have to do a little bit of math as a as a spotter, not as a gunner, a spotter. I imagine that would get you some really freaking high core strength there, because you're lifting these heavy ass tank shells constantly, and under pressure, and you have to do it right every time. I imagine those guns can still jam despite their ridiculous bore. Where the hell are we going? Lead should be at pretty deep levels. Just don't know where the frick it is. And unfortunately, we need a core of two lead ingots. Not compared to the 140 millimeter howitzers in the back people operate. Jesus. Yeah, that does sound like it would be a pain in the butt to try to lift those shells. I sure as hell can't pull that. Well, I can probably pull it, but that's pretty much the extent of what I can do. I can pull the shells. And that's it. <laughs> there we go. Where the hell? Hmm. No lead. What? No lead? No lead? No lead? Hey, sapphires. Cool. I love sapphires. The only call-in things the commander can do is a bombing run, gun run, supply drop, airhead, and order. I don't know what an airhead is, but okay. Fair enough. <laughs> lead? No lead? I need to get deeper. This is not the lead area. Now we're actually in some sort of lead area. God damn it. Perchance... A little lead. Parachuted. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty useful, yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. 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 That's appetite down there. Not super useful. Some Stella. Appetite. No lead. It's not used often and is mostly used for flanking attacks on Captain Po- That makes sense. 
Because if you can just drop your allies next to the... Or not next to, but uh, on the opposite side from your existing teammates, then you can try to protect them. Nobody likes getting flanked. Oh, hey, crush gold. Cool. Not what I'm here for, though. I would love some crushed gold, but I kind of need that frickin' lead. Really. I assume they have a limited amount of, uh, commands they can actually give out, though, right? Whereas, like, you can only do X commands so many times, or you can only do X amount of things. They get, like, points or something for it, right? I seriously doubt it's just a thing that you can pull out uh, frequently. And that doesn't seem like a thing that'll be happening too often. Now let's try the other side of the mining area. There are resources in the game as well. Manpower, munitions, and fuel. Use this currency to order things in. Ah. That makes sense. That is generally, from my understanding, the things that cause a conflict to uh, swing one way or another. They regenerate over time, but Collins also have a cooldown. Okay, so you can't just uh, charge up and then call in a bunch of flanking positions for your allies. Basically. That yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. No mass bombardments of flanking allies. <laughs> we have you surrounded. That sort of deal. An eight minute cooldown. That is... Pretty hefty, not bad. Decent haul. Okay, so that's an accept that's an acceptable amount of lead. Not great, but acceptable. Hmm. That'll get me two drills. Not enough, but it is some. And they can take a long time, that is true. I imagine those games would uh only really go quickly if one hour, 48 minutes. That's almost as long as a freaking Space Station 13 game. God damn. Hefty. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. Chonky. Exactly. We are going to start collecting Expetrified. Expetrified will allow us to make an Eternal Stella. Eternal Stellas are good for making immortal devices and tools. Supreme Chonk. Ooh, lead. Huzzah! More wine sweetener! Yes. <laughs> I'm still amazed that, uh... Still amazed that Rome used frickin' lead to sweeten their wine. You'd think they'd figure it out pretty quickly that, hey, this is a bad idea. This is an awful idea, actually. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. I mean, yeah, they lacked modern medicine, but still, after a few nobles died of lead poisoning or something. And for their water pipes, that too. Amazing that anybody can claim that Rome is the... Ooh, there's the charged. Yes, aqueducts. It's amazing that anybody can claim that Rome was the peak of civilization or something. They did good for what they had. And that was lead poisoning. <laughs> they did really good for the fact that they were all lead poisoned. Ooh, that's some nice urns. It is a, it is a supremely workable material. It is light. Well, not, no, sorry, it's not light. It is a very, very workable material. It is, uh, it takes light taps to work it. There we go, that's what I was going for. Pliable, there we go, yeah. You don't really need an iron hammer. A frickin' uh, stone hammer will do just fine. You can dent that stuff real easy. That, and it's not reactive, like... 
at all. You're not gonna get rusty pipes if you got lead. That's the that's the thing. They won't rust. They'll just break your brain instead. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, where am I going? And bones, yeah. They'll also rust your bones. In general, it just it'll just mess you up. Generally, lead is stored in the bones. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be possible to take a Roman skeleton and extract the lead from it and see just how much is in there. I don't doubt that it's possible, right? It'd be destructive analysis. No, no kidding. But it would be it would be interesting. It'd be very interesting to see just how uh, thoroughly poisoned those people were. Look that up for the heck of it? Yeah, pro somebody probably did do that. We already know what they did with lead, so I mean, it's not a stretch to say that some scientists would go ahead and see... Okay, we know they're poisoned, but just... How poisoned? How screwed were they? You know? For science! So we got a charged Certus Quartz, that means that I can finally start focusing. Good. <laughs> um, hmm. Jesus. I take it a lot. They found that the Iron Age skeletons contain just 0.3 to 2.9 micrograms of lead per gram. Whereas the ones from the Roman Empire have between 8 to 123... Jesus Christ. 8 to 123 micrograms per gram of bone. What the hell? Okay, that's... Jesus. That is poisoning. <laughs> wow. That is, uh... Excessive. Jeez. Just why? Why would you do this to yourself? They wouldn't know, but goddamn. I do not have chain drives, no. <laughs> Let's see about chain drives. I know they exist, I just don't know, like, how to work them. Rotational force. Relay rotation to each other in a row. Okay. All shafts connected will rotate in the same direction. Huh. Okay, then. That's certainly something. I have no idea how the hell that works, but sure. Unpowered chain gear shifts behave exactly like chain drives. But you can also rotate them, right? Oh, the chain... Oh, so you can gear shift with it. Okay. Or I guess, yeah, you can gear shift with it, of course. Okay. I was utterly unaware of this. Huh. Love creates an... I agree 100%. That is pretty good. Maybe we'll have to make use of this. Could be handy. Because I've been using frickin' belts and all that stuff. Nothing but belts. Yeah, I guess I could use gear shifts- or not gear shifts, chain shifts for that. Chain... Chain drives for that. Or I could use more belt. <laughs> what a what a king. What a king. Lord of the Lottles. Yeah, I was. And then I kind of fell off of uh, doing Danny server for a while. Unfortunately. It is a tragedy, but... I can only do so much with standard Minecraft, you know? 
I apologize. Big chain, iron chain, arcane, gold chain. Okay, focus. Yeah, burnt out. Just a little bit. I need to focus a bit better. Um, okay, so I need to build a sky solution generator. And then I need to take that sky solution generator. Ow. And automate it so that we are constantly getting the solution that we need. I'm also going to need a charger for this. A charger will allow us to actually make the uh, required materials. Uh, that means that I need to go to hell. So, that's a thing. Can I cook this in... I can cook it in a skillet. Okay, then. That's not bad. Dried kelp. So we're going to need a dynamo in order to power this thing. Uh, thankfully, dynamos aren't that hard to make. They're pretty simple, actually, for the most part. Dynamo. We have multi-cycle injectors. Auxiliary reaction chain. Sterling! It's exactly what you think. It uses heat. Compression! Um... I don't remember what this one uses. Disenchant, right? Okay, it uses, uh, uses, uh, combustibles. Magmatic. What do you think? <laughs> it uses magma. Go figure. Lapidary. Lapidary. It uses gemstones of all sorts. Very fancy. But, you know, useful. Or pyrosium. Yes, yes. My mind is foggy on that one. Uh, do we even have pyrosium in this one? I don't know. Disenchantment. It runs on uh, magic. Eat it magic stuff, it'll disenchant them and provide some power. Gourmand. It eats things. Numismatic. Uh, yes. It uses money. Coins. <laughs> That's what it uses. It uses coins. Who knows how the hell that works, but I guess there's like some sort of... um laborer inside that's kind of just there working on a uh working for a wage those poor bastards all right so we need to go to hell somehow the best way to do that is just you know the usual shouldn't take us too long to go to hell it'd be pretty easy actually it's a gnome collecting hoard for his pot of gold ah uh, a workaday gnome yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Poor gnome. Yeah, I don't really. We don't really need the the loot at the moment, so we're just gonna go down. We're just gonna walk down. It's fine. All right, so this isn't the one we've actually tapped into, so we should be set. Hmm. Lava. Oh wow, there's actually lava underneath. Can't say I was expecting that, but okay, sure. We'll tap into this. We need at the very least ten. Bubbly hot brew. Exactly. I'm thinking at some point we're gonna build a keg house. Like a proper pub. Not for any like functional use, but you know, for the fun of it. Because this mod pack does have a mod called Keg in it. At least I think it's called Keg. Drink beer, sorry. That's the name of it. Mug. Empty beer mugs. Pretty hefty ones, too. Could be handy. Could be handy. I don't know how to make all the alcoholic drinks, but it could be useful. It'd be useful. Alright, um, we're gonna have to go to hell. That's gonna be a real bummer. But we need to go there to grab some nether quartz. Uh, primarily just because, well, I mean, obviously we need nether quartz to make flux. A fancy, fancy shard of something. I don't really know what the hell flux is supposed to be. 
Whatever it is, it's a catalyst for turning things from uh, solids to data. That's the idea behind it. Other than that, no freaking clue. Alright. I usually like to go for 14 for the corners, because I just like it, honestly. Oh, hell, hell yeah, we are. We need at least one nether quartz to make the seed for the uh, rest of the quartz. See, thankfully this mod pack does include a way for you to quickly uh, grow crystals. Um, all you have to do is spray them four times with water, it's fine. Just, you know, give them a little bit of a, a spritzing, it's fine. Um, other than that... Yeah, we're just going to hell. It should be fine. What could go wrong on all that? We are fully equipped with armor, so we should be fine on that front. <laughs> Ooh, I think I figured out a way to make an obsidian generator, too. Because all we'd have to do is set up a pipe that just sprays out into the open and then just gets sprayed down with water. It's fine. <laughs> Straight up. Okay, so we need to find nether quartz. If we find a fortress, that would also be great. Because we're going to need a blaze spawner. Naturally. Unfortunately, in order to do that, we need to, you know, find a find a fortress. It's gonna take some work, but we can do it, I think. Somewhere back here. Yeah, somewhere back here. I don't know if it's got anything wonky. Right on the edge. <laughs> oh yeah, those are great. I remember making an automatic crystal grower that would pop out quartz seeds and only extract them with a filter when they were fully grown. If it's that storage mod. Yeah, it is that storage mod. <laughs> Welcome to Applied Energistics. But thankfully, this mod pack adds in a uh, different way. A much easier way. If I look up... Certus... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, certain. Okay. Applied Energistics. Instead, what you do is you just spray the crap out of some water. Or out of the quartz with crystal with some water. It's fine to spray it. Just give it a nice little spritz. <laughs> it's water heavy, but it's functional. <laughs> just, yeah, just spritz it, it's fine. I'm thinking I'm probably going to be... I think the best way we could do this is by basically just having a line of four spouts filled to the brim with water and a site funnel into a you could put a filter funnel on the output yeah that's what i was thinking so like how do i put this put a d uh put a chest here with a bunch of service uh seeds put a depot here and a spout on top okay then have it spray it down four times and then when it's grown up to a uh, small crystal it would go into a drawer that's been set to filter out those specifically. And then do that, chain it up into a uh, line of, or even like a circle, it doesn't really matter, of things that you can uh, depot up and spray down with water. Because those, um, those filters will, or sorry, those funnels will only pull it in once it's uh, at the right size then. And that way we don't have to make frickin' 16 spouts to just spray them down. Cause it sounds like a lot of freaking work for uh, very little. I don't need two of them, but okay. Sure. <laughs> Straight through. And we should be able to set up shop in hell. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I still like Applied Energistics. Okay. I still like it. Even if the, uh... It's a little weird. Well, this is what happens. Frickin' gross. Okay, there's some cobalt over there. That's certainly something. The walls, meat. The floor, meat. Yes, to an extent, even the air is meat. No gas tears, though. Tragic. Welcome to the visceral heap. A disgusting pile of meat. It's not even really usable. It's just turf. It exists, and that's it. It exists to be a pain. Now, if I remember correctly, we could also do the same thing with nether quartz. We basically just uh, spray it down a bunch of times and then call it a, a done crystal. Can I dig this? Hey, I can dig this. Hell yeah, I'll dig it then. I don't know what the hell hepatizen is, but I'll take it. <laughs> willow vine. Okay, I'm not sure why willow vines are here. Sure. We got some fancy crystals. Some fancy crystals to heal all of our spiritual wounds. Now you gotta make sure that you, you apply the crystals in the right place. So they don't mess up your, your chakras and your meridians. Hmm. A little bit of glowstone. You know, just something. Ba -ba -ba. Easy peasy. I have no idea what I'll use this glowstone for, but we have it. We have it. <laughs> I mean, we can use it for lighting, but... Other than that, I got no freaking clue. It just sort of exists. Let's see. I think that's uh, the extent of what we need to do here. We can gather some nether quartz so that we can make a charger. Um, leave because there's really not much else I can do here at the moment. Portal's over this way, so we should be good. Let's get the hell out of here. Screw this place. I hate it. It's gross. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some tetanus or something here. No, that would be rust. Rabies? Something gross. We should be good to go here. Screw this place. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hopefully this glowstone supply will do just fine. I have no idea what the hell we need it for, but we can make Illumar. Bioluminescent rails. Okay. Smart cables. Always nice. Meteor lights, storage components that are big, magma cakes, uh, silicon compounds, Illumar, glowstone arrows, uh, Illumar, illuminated olive stone, glowstone, algal cage lanterns, fancy spatial components, panels, hmm, illumination upgrades, 
Glowing water, radiant explosives, uh, smart cables, MMR, cage lantern. Ooh, spooky. Anything we care about. I guess fairy lights. Twinkles. Vibrant glass, uh, factory lamps. Impure gold chalk. Okay, Ilamar. Screen off. Died white ghost lanterns. Okay, so a bunch of lanterns. <laughs> Light speed. Mine's well lit blocks faster. Make a feral flare lantern. It'd work. Magma crucibles make energized glowstone. Uh, potions. Beholder familiars. Anything else that we would care about? Hephaestus smithing. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Some decent enchantments. Looks like it's for the really powerful ones. And glowstone. Not really useful. Runic, I guess, but... Okay. Lumium, of course. <laughs> Lumium is a very pretty metal. Alright. Well, we can't do much with glowstone. We can make lights. That's, uh, kinda it. But it'll do. How much free iron do we- Yeah, we got a decent amount of free iron. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so we're gonna focus on our project, or at least the start of it. We're gonna need to do a little bit of spinning, you see. We're gonna have to take this, uh, charge crystal. We're gonna have to throw it into a mixture of volatile sky stone and a, uh, what was the other thing? No, oh, actually it's just volatile sky stone. Uh, we're gonna have to grind that up, basically. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Pretty easy, actually. Um, from there, we're gonna have to recharge it. Now, in order to recharge it, we need a charger. Go figure. Chargers require a flux crystal and some sort of andesite machine. And an andesite box. Okay, that can be done. Another red. Okay. Rude. Thank you for your gland, I guess. Catalyzing gland. Um. From there, we are going to take our fancy, fancy charger. We're going to have to charge up the crystals and uh, spin them around a bit, you know. Get a little bit of a uh, decent... Uh... Okay, this is going to be a real pain, ain't it? I have to actually make a little box to hold it in. Otherwise, they're just going to float off into the waters. There we go. And there's our Fluix Crystals. Easy peasy. Uh, we're also going to need a charger. Uh, charger charger, there we go. Some way of powering this thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that, because we don't really have a good option right now. We could do dynamos, but those are kind of limited. I need to have the fuel for them, is the thing. If I have no fuel, then I, I don't really have anything to go with here. Um, it can still be done. What do we need for a magmatic dynamo? Because if we could use a magmatic, then we don't actually have to care. Copper, redstone, flux. Never mind, we're making magmatic. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing magmatic. It's just so much more easier. We can just directly pipe it in. Not have to care. There's a log, throw a casing together, there we go. A little bit of redstone, a little bit of gold. <laughs> throw this here and this here, magmatic. Easy peasy.
Okay. So we need to go... We got the Sky Stone. And the Infinite Meal is not too hard to make. All we really need is a block. And then have a filter so that it uh, sucks out the block and throws it back onto the line. I'm pretty sure I can do that in like a... 3x3 three three space, so that's not a huge deal. We can make infinite amounts of uh, Skystone with ease. Um, water. That's really freaking easy. We live next to a river. It's just going to flow right in. Uh, quartz seeds is the problem, because we need to be able to make more quartz. And unfortunately, we don't have an auto crafter, so we can't rely on this ridiculous <laughs> recipe. Ah, yes, let's just break it up into seeds. It's fine. So instead, we have to rely on a mixer. A mixer going burr, basically. Because unfortunately, these crafters require brass machines. We're absolutely upgrading the uh, redstone stuff immediately once we get the chance. The red stuff. Hmm, how do we want to place this? Is it gonna have to place it somewhere? Okay, buddy. What the hell? Huh. Not great, okay. We're gonna have to place this somewhere. The question really is just where. Right? Hmm. We could place it in a lower section of this machine room. Just have it regressing down into infinity. <laughs> Just keep de deploying deeper and deeper into the earth. And that is an option. Iron saw is not great there. But we don't have an ex-petrified Stella ready. We don't have a thing ready. If we did that, we'd have to build a pathway down for the lava to fuel everything. Hmm. But ultimately, it'd be relatively fine when it comes to actually, like, uh, processing things. Nothing here requires sunlight. Huh. What do you think? New factory or like uh, just expand on this thing? Either way, we're not finishing the factory today, obviously, but. We could do either. It's a question of which, though. Do we keep delving deeper or do we just. Hmm. Build anew. I'm thinking anew, because then we can just uh, later on add in a belt leading all the way over. Oh, lovely. There's a giant spider on my wall. Well, he's not bothering me. Doesn't look like a toxic one either, so. Eh. He's just chilling. Um. Hmm. Yep, new. We spent basically the entire day preparing and uh, getting our logistics up and running. We can spend a little bit more later on uh, building up our next factory. I really need to make that windmill look better. It's really just a eyesore at the moment. Eh, I'll do it later. So I'm thinking this is going to be the foundry area. I don't want to really interfere with it all that much. If we just have it, we have it. Being able to just uh, have a area where we can dump off all our ores into a melt re setup so we don't have to actually worry about it would be A+. Plus. And the less ore we have to hold in our chests on uh, smelting, the better. How big is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. 
And a bit more. A little more stone, just to make it nice. And to further designate the spot. Now we're just gonna, you know, terraform a bit. Get it more or less working. Functional, you know? I'm definitely gonna wanna take that, um, that iron ore generator and turn it into a proper uh, setup. Where it actually has its own dedicated cobblestone generator. So it's never running empty. That'd be freaking great. Especially if we don't ever have to pay attention to it. If it runs forever without us giving a damn, then we can just keep it going and produce mass quantities of iron. Make iron irrelevant. I do want to also have it so that it, it um, expels excess uh, iron into uh, basins. So I'm going to have to find some way of making it so that it prioritizes the spout for the, uh, the redstone shenanigans over the other one. I don't know if it's possible to even do that. I wouldn't be shocked. I just don't know how you would do it. Eh, feed this to the gravel generator. It's a pretty self-sufficient machine at this point, honestly. All it needs is that uh, little uh, cobble generator. A cobble generator module slapped right on top. And there we go. Done. Hey, and then we could actually make like some proper iron tools and make it so that it's not necessary anymore. There are also ways to make it a little uh, broken. <laughs> Because in a foundry, you can see that it produces this thing produces cobalt and iron. Wait, iron? Really? I guess it produces extra cobalt, but that cobalt can then be converted into a bunch of different stuff. You know, the usuals, the hits. And then made back into ingots. But can we? Oh, we can't actually crush it. That's honestly kind of surprising. Huh. I know that I can take iron and uh, put it into a loop to generate infinite quantities of nickel. But I didn't know that you could not do that with cobalt. Huh. Because what you do is you take the iron, uh, smelt it in a... F oh, never mind. Oh, wait, yeah. Take the iron, grind it up into uh, dust here. It only produces one. Wait, really? They... And here I thought I was smart, but apparently no. No, I'm not. Only produces one iron dust. I guess you could break it down repeatedly to get uh, a little bit of nickel out of it. Basically pound out the nickel out of it. Have a, I guess the term would be a refractory? Something like that? Just soak out all the invar. Crush it repeatedly and, yeah. Or all the nickel, not the invar. You know what I mean. Uh, I need a shovel. Something to, sh you know, make paths with. Something to make nice, smooth, clean pathways. I mean, they're not clean, but, you know, they're pretty dirty. Hmm. Everything seems nominal right now. Nothing's going haywire. There's that. I could probably build that charger sooner rather than later, so I don't forget and wind up having no materials to do it with. Oh yeah, it's the uh, it's the machine box. I keep forgetting. I said I would concentrate, and then I didn't concentrate. <laughs> ah, it is what it is. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to set that up to be a, uh, some sort of, uh, tunnel leading over to the, uh, next area once it's ready to be auto-processed. Hmm. 
Unless, does it just charge it automatically? Luke's production. It needs something to charge it with, right? Yes, yes it does. But this should still work just fine. How can we put this in? I guess we could output it... Hmm. Right, I'm gonna do a little bit of experimentation here. With some inputs and outputs to see just... Terrible placement for that. Just how well this works. Because it's got little... Illustrations on the top and bottom and I'm gonna need these funnels anyways. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna need them. So if I place this here, I place this on top. It automatically counts it as that. Put a quartz in. It'll sit there, presumably until it's charged. Okay. Are you running? I cannot tell. Hmm. Fly over here? No. No. Oh, went over here. Okay, there we go. Need to be in the back? Hmm. What does this need? How do you run this thing? Do you need an acceptor? Energy acceptor. Lead plates. They used to only be powered from below or above. That's interesting. I don't know if they ever changed that. They might have. I'm doing a little bit of experimentation to see if I can fix this out. You know, get it done before rather than after. Definitely the power acceptor, yeah. Lead plates. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, that's certainly something. Thank you for the tips, Elf Plays. I appreciate it. The energy acceptor is going to be needed then. Yes, I see you, spider. Lead plates shouldn't be too hard to make, right? Right, yeah, okay, good. It's just a very simple uh, recipe. Give the plates the squimsh. Fun fact about spiders, actually. Uh, apparently, the larger the spider, usually the less uh, potent its venom, because I don't really have to rely on it as much. That's why the freaking gigantic tarantulas aren't really venomous at all. They really only have their uh, hairs. As a uh, dissuasion technique. <laughs> it's really interesting. It's like little man syndrome. The smallest ones are the dangerous ones. <laughs> Nasty things they are. But, you know, vital. Very much vital. Unfortunately. Yep, that would be it. Thank you very much for stopping by. I always appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, I have to go. I have to go eat. I have to go drink. I have to go, you know, to sleep. I have to do all those human things. So I'm going to call it a night. Um, I will probably do a little bit of uh, background work trying to make this uh, fully functional. Figure out, like, all the... Uh, Things that I have to get done. Mostly upgrading the uh, iron generator so that we actually have a constant supply of cobblestone. 
But that will all be uh, probably ready by tomorrow. It shouldn't take me that long. Um, if you happen to be on YouTube, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, I hope you join us sometime. <laughs> Goodbye, YouTube.